Okay, so what uh, group did you post this in? Hmm? What group did I post what in? Did you... We were broadcasting something on Skype? Yeah, not to oh, you, he... it's to other people. I just linked the, uh, the place where people can watch us live. Oh, okay. Because oh, I'm live can you uh, give me your Twitch? Uh, yeah, I can give course. you a follow. Yay. There you go. Awesome. Yes, my name is Philadelphia t instead of uh, just Philadelphia because I mistyped when I created the account, and you cannot change your name on team uh, on Twitch. So yeah, I'm stuck with it. <clears throat> So, um, Pathfinder normally takes place um, in the inner sea region, which is this place you see before you right now. It's a big place, all kind of different regions. Well, we're not playing there. Instead, we will be playing on the Isle of Talangard, which you can see now. And, well, in the kingdom of Talangard, many crimes may send you to Brandenskar prison, but the sentence has but one meaning. You are wicked and irredeemable. Each of you received the same greeting when you arrived. You were held down by rough hands and branded upon the arm with a runic F. The mark signifies forsaken, and the painful scar is indelible proof that each of you has betrayed the great and eternal love of Mitra and his chosen mortal vessels. And, uh, well, that looks like this. Condemned! You face at best the life of shackles and servitude in the nearby salt mines. Others might await the gentle ministrations of the, Inquisition, in, of the Inquisitors, so that co-conspirators may be revealed and confessions extracted. Perhaps some of you will be spared this ordeal. Perhaps instead you have come to Brandon's, Brennerskar to face the final judgment. In three days, the executioner arrives and the axe falls on the, or the pyre will be lit. Through fire or steel, your crimes will be answered. You have all been chained together in the same communal cell, dressed in nothing but filthy, tattered rags. Manhandled and mistreated, any finery you once possessed is either ruined or long lost. No special treatment has been given any prisoner, male or female, common or noble. All of the, all of the forsaken are bound and imprisoned together. Your feet are secured by iron cuffs tethered by one long chain. Your arms are secured to the wall above by man manacles. A guard is posted right outside the cell, day and night. Little thought is given to long-term accommodation. At Brandon's car, justice comes swift and sure. Escape seems hopeless. You have all been well searched, and every attempt to conceal anything on your person has failed. And if you could somehow slip your bonds and fly out of this prison, where would you go? Who from your former life would want anything to do with the, for, uh, with the Forsaken? Despised, alone and shackled, all that you can do now is await your doom. For each of you, your old life is over. For each of you, hope is a fading memory. For each of you, justice will be fairly muted. And who can blame fain, fair talent guard? after what each of you has done. So you find yourself in your jail cell. Shackled. Together. Hmm. How long have we been in here? You have arrived today. You've what does been... our specific jail cell look like? Um, I'll show you soon. You are... To be exact... Here. 
I will shift drag you. Give me a second. Okay. And well. So I look around me at uh, my fellow prisoners. What brings you all here? This Sheriel. Uh, <clears throat> I look at the person that said that, and uh, Maltrix says, "I summoned the devil," and they caught me. Damn shame. The Grand devil. Man. Uh, sorry. Oh, okay. a demon, a devil outsider. Grugnak looks over. Grugnak's, uh, shit. Um, Grugnak, uh, traded slaves. RJ? Sorry, my mic isn't working again. Okay. Sounds fine to me. Yeah. Well, if personally, yeah, if I'm guilty right now, of high treason. I frown and stay quiet for a while. <laughs> and while you sit there for, um, 10, maybe 20 minutes. And, well, after a while, a man and six armed guards enters uh, the outer hallway. This is the man. Da -da 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 -da. And uh, he um, approaches your cell and uh, he points at you, Maldrek. You there, that's the scum. Get him, un uh, get him unshackled. If any of you, any of you make any t makes trouble, they'll, they'll earn a trashing. Today's your lucky day, scum. You've got a visitor. How you were warranted such a fine lady is beyond, beyond me. Seems she wants to say goodbye. Now, step lively, wouldn't want to keep her waiting. And he impatiently taps his foot. A visitor, eh? Uh, yeah. It's immediately obvious to you that you do not know anyone or do not expect anyone. Okay. And everyone can make um. a, uh, a sense motive skill check. So that's with wisdom. Um, I think I need to refresh my app. Not able to select a uh, skill check. Hmm? Yeah, refresh it if something doesn't work. Roll20 is not the most stable. Hey Zay, how'd you get it so fanciful like that? Use the macro. <laughs> I did. Oh yeah, he made he wrote it, his own. Um Oh. Yeah. There we personal. go. I I made it a bit more personal. Uh, that was the worst roll I've ever rolled. <laughs> well uh Maldrek. You notice that he looks kind of dazed, perhaps? It's not quite sure what's going on, but he's not acting as you might expect a guard to act. But nevertheless, he is waiting. Impatiently, I might add. 
Uh, is it just him? Him and six... Uh, you are all shackled, by the way, except for Maldrek. Uh, okay. Him and six armed is guards. It, um, is it possible... To, uh, do I detect any magic if it's possible, like in a quick motion? And uh, Detect magic is quite obvious if you would do that. It has components. I don't think so. Oh yeah, it's Focon Sonic. Uh, no, uh, Hunter. Uh. Ah. Okay. Um. Did you explain to RJ how to do the stuff? Uh, not yet. Okay. RJ. There's, th there's three macros in the under the yeah, cog wheel right. menu that you should use. They're called blind roll, GM roll, and and skill roll. Add them to your bar. I'll add for them. Uh, I'll ask for them when appropriate. Appropriate. You just fill in your uh, modifier. So like plus two or minus six. Oh, by the way, everyone, Sheriel's actually three feet tall because she's a halfling. Yes. So, <laughs> let everyone know. Okay. <laughs> a little, a little out of the ordinary. Those are harder to sell. So I'd probably only ignore you. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Well, I'm pretty strange looking too. I mean, fully tattooed and, and darker skin, horns. Okay, I'm um I'm, I'm going to to here. to move the group out of uh, on the other map for a second, because only Maldrak has That's been part. asked to come with. And, um, well, Maldrick, you, was, you are escorted to here. And, um, uh, you are uh, unceremoniously... Oh, yeah, sorry. There. You are oh, unceremoniously okay. shoved into a chair. And, um... Well, on the other end of the table, you see a, a woman... With a uh, platinum blonde hair, an earth unearthly green eyes, and she has clearly been weeping. And um, as they, they they put you down and shackle you to the chair, uh, they leave and close the door. Let me show you the the woman before you. Okay. You should be able to see it now, Maldrick, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yep. <sighs> oh, sorry. Uh, he's actually still standing there. But you are shackled to the chair. And the woman begins. Oh, dearest, proclaims the un unfamiliar woman. I'm so relieved you're alive. She quickly turns to Thomas, the guard. Could you please have a moment alone, good sir? For pity's sake. And uh, Thomas goes blank for a bit and then quickly agrees. Uh, uh, of course, my lady. For you, it's, it's no, it is no problem. Uh, you can make another sense motive check this time. Maldrek. Yeah. You don't know exactly how, but she seems to have some power over the guard. Standing, it seems. Okay. And as soon as the guards leave, well, she's immediately all business. Have you forgotten me, dearest? The unexpected visitor says with a smirk, dropping her pretense of grief. Call me Theodora. We possess a mutual friend who would like to meet you and your fellow cellmates. Unfortunately, our friend is unwilling to visit you in your present, rather shabby accommodations. And she uh, wrinkles her nose at what you're wearing. So it seems you must escape. Now, now, don't be so dour. Just because it's never do been done before, it's no, it's no reason you can be the first. If you manage that, cross the moors on the outskirts of town, on the old and on the old uh, moor road, you'll see a manor house with a single lantern building in the second story. There, our mutual friend will wait for you. And that is all I know. 
He did want me to give you this. And she takes off her silken veil and wipes away a few fake tears with it. Something to remember me by, a dearest. <laughs> Okay. To the this point that if you have any questions you might want to ask them. Can I okay uh this is really awkward. Someone a mutual friend wants to meet Can you give his name or is it, does he prefer uh, secrecy? Yeah the the less you know the better. I see. Why help us? I mean, as far as I can tell, we're all just some prisoners caught by the the, the higher ups. Well, what is the? Yes, finish your question. What is exactly? What, why us? And why not some other prisoners? Did you see any other prisoners? Besides, I saw one. You're perfect. We want you. We just want a meeting. So, do you want to escape or not? Oh, yes, of course. I mean, who wants to die here because of being caught by some foolish mistake? Of getting caught, I mean. <laughs> I know that I did the crime. Well. If there's nothing else. Oh. And uh, with her message delivered, she rises and the guards return, almost immediately. And uh, immediately her demeanor once more changes and she is again, again the perfect picture of grief. No, I can't bear to leave you. And she, she gives you a kiss on the cheek. The kiss is mm -hmm. ice cold and it feels somehow alien and inhuman. And uh, Thomas, the, the, the head guard, shakes his head. I'm afraid it's time, miss. And uh, she, she looks deep in Thomas's eyes and she says, Thank you for setting me, letting me say goodbye. There's no need to sh search my de dearest. He's, you are such a good friend for letting me see my dearest one more time. Such a good friend. Thomas repeats his voice almost mechanical. Then the watch ser sergeant seems to snap out of it and, uh, and bows politely. Uh, a, a pleasure, madam. She leaves unveiled. Um. Uh, what? Well, you keep talking, I just wanted to say something, you know, a bit role-playing. Um, as she tries to leave, I say, stay strong, my dearest. Thank you for this meeting. I'll do a bluff if I need to. No, no, that's fine. Ah, oh, well, I don't know. And, um, she, she leaves unveiled. And as she leaves, her eyes meet you one last time. And she briefly gives you a wicked smile. Three days! you hear in your mind. Don't disappoint me, dearest. The visitation concluded. You're taken back to your cell by the same cadre of guards and shackled once more. Okay. And, um, give me a second here. <clears throat> now that you are um, in the jail cell, you have a, a, a good look at the thing that she gave you. Okay. As the guards go back to the, the guard room and, you know, do guard thingies, <laughs> do guardly things. So what was that all about? Says Sheriel. I, I, in a, in a lower voice, I say, "Well, someone wants us out. Us, not just yes. you. 
us. But look at the other two. They want us out of here. The person... The person seemed really in control of the guards here. Almost... Magical, but I couldn't be sure. And, well, before leaving she gave me this and I... Well, take the veil out of hiding, making sure not the guards to let it see and, and show oh, it to the others. they're not in the same room anymore. No, but well, they might. They, well, I hope the cells. It's, it, they can look at us, you know. Wa watch us from time to time. Yeah, of course. So we'll try to do it a bit sneakily. Uh, uh, that they can take a good look at it, but not be that the guards can see it. Is it magical? Well, I'm about to find out. And I cast some words and cast uh, detect magic. Yes, it is magical. Okay. Uh, I think. Ooh, it is a um, a veil of useful items. In the um, in the fine silk, you see woven, well. Pictures of things you can get out of this veil. Okay. So you you see One. a um, you see two daggers, a bullseye lantern, a hempen rope, a spell component pouch. Ooh. Uh, well, actually, it's a sack. You don't know what's in there, but I'll tell you. It's a spell component pouch and uh, and common clothes. Uh, a set of lockpicks. Masterwork, of course. Ooh, Some kind it. of potion. A small amount of money. Um, something that looks like a window. Though it's not completely clear how that might work. And uh, do you have knowledge religion? Uh, no. Does anyone have knowledge religion? Leave or Syrian or Syrian does. Yeah, I do. Sorry. Okay, make a blind roll. Oh yeah, that's what I need to. Oh wait, do I? Hang on. You need to have a skill point in it. I believe you do. Well? Ah, uh, asking for help. Hold on. Uh. You should have a list on, on the PDF I sent you, you should have a list of all the skills. Check for knowledge religion. I I don't have that. Okay, nobody what? does. He's talking to RJ. Did you did you fill in the two the two skill points by the way? Oh no not yet. Hang on. Yeah you have two extra skill points. Skill. I would say take it in all skill no that's metagaming, sorry. You can take in whatever that might be suitable for your character. Religion will be suitable. But useful for for at the moment. It's also kind of uh, common knowledge in Talengard that there's a religious war that's been going on for a long time against. Uh, yeah, it's it's as, as actually you can you can make this. Uh, check untrained because the DC is low enough. So is it related to Asmodius or something? Well, make the check and you might know. Oh yeah, I'm sure. But because <laughs> I worship Asmodius, I might know some common things. But okay. Well, Asmodius is forbidden. Yeah, but I'm an evil character. I mean, oh. why would I not worship an evil forbidden Oh, right, you are. Oh, your god is a small I forgot that. Um, well, yeah. 
<clears throat> then you might would obviously two. know that the symbol in the middle is the holy, the unholy symbol of Asmodeus. The holy unholy symbol. No, an unholy symbol. <laughs> yeah, Good yeah, gods get a holy symbol. symbol, evil gods get an unholy symbol. But what about the neutral guy? Can they get a holy unholy symbol? Their symbol is holy if, uh, if the character is good and unholy if the character is evil. It all depends. Mm -hmm. But the important part we... is that... Mm -hmm. And that's... A serious timer. I see some of those lockpicks. Oh. Angel, that you, does Wait, he question. said aloud we... what he knows? Well, I, I'm we... assuming we're all, we're all on the same team here, according to the DM. So well, you're, you're kind of in the same oh. cell, and if you don't help each other, you're going to die in three days, so... Well, we're, At I this point, we're it's, uh, to... it's basically survival instinct to help each other. Uh-huh. But um, what I wanted to ask, uh, this veil, can I remove but also put it back in? No, you cannot put it back in. But once we take it, it's... We have once to you have it, it out, hide it. you'll have to hide the item. Yeah, okay. Um, I want to see the tools, but... You, uh, you can trust him when he says that, uh, that it's going to be a masterwork uh, set of thieves tools. Can I see that from, from just looking at them? You can detect that from your magical skills. Ah, alright. It's a magical okay, item, so it's, right? It's... Yeah, well, I didn't know that Spellcraft would also say that, if it's what it's inside. It's... Well, what, are really what are your wisdom scores, by the way? Uh... Twelve. Uh, minus yeah, modifier eight. plus one. No, score. Nine, minus Lots. nine. Wisdom well. scores. So 12, 12, 9, and 8. Well, it's not very wise. Well, 9 with the minus 1 modifier. The minus 1 doesn't affect that. Oh, my bad. Okay, um. We have 3 days to get out. I have knowledge engineering. Does that help at all in the situation we're in? Um, yeah, go ahead. Roll it. Uh, blind skill roll, please. Okay. It's the one that gives you three oh. results, and I get whispered which one to use. A modifier? Uh, or wait, oh, wait, never mind. It's, it's, yeah, you should know the modifier. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um, I look at the others, and who's uh, well at picking locks? Grognak shakes his head. So either you pass or you failed. Well, hopefully, <laughs> you're not that uh, that that familiar with these kind of locks. But what you can see is that they're quite old and battered. They haven't been uh, maintained correctly. We should be able to well. We should be able to get out easily if we can pick him. I have a question. Can we see the guy to the left uh, in 19? Can we see the guy in cell 19? Yeah, you can. Well, I'm not too skilled with picking locks, but from what I see with these shackles, they do have some weak spots to them. Perhaps if we apply enough pressure, we could break them. Shackles are pretty strong. Uh, Grognak think maybe we should release Guy next to us. And cause going havoc. To... Um, well, first you'll need to get out. Uh, we'll need to be sure what... Also, if we're gonna do it, we need to be sure. So, what exactly kind of weak spots... Uh, were you talking about on the shackles or, or they are they're unmaintained like uh, the, not the shackles specific... the, the lock itself is unmaintained oh, it the seems lock itself. that it might not be that hard to break I mean uh, pick 
Okay. The problem, the problem is that um, we're shackled together, so if it's gonna be hard. Can I make uh, an attempt to to pick it? So I think we should wait. If you're gonna do it, we should wait till maybe night or something. Okay. Or we have a better idea, so we don't die instantly. That sounds like a much better idea. Is there... Okay, um... Is there in our... Uh, on the wall behind us, is there some kind of window looking out? Uh, there are high bars. Very high on the ceiling. Uh, you can see that it is evening. Evening. Okay, um... Different... I don't think my familiar would fit through it. Mm. Also, your familiar is uh, not here. He is here. I told you. How would your familiar? At be the here? moment, he's my familiar can be uh, etched on my body as a tattoo. It's a All part right. of me when he does it. And what's, can, what uh, is your familiar? A, a hawk. Well. Can fly out, but if if uh, he would if he can fit, he can. And what, what would help? What, what would help? What would that help, indeed? Yeah, I was just thinking about how I could help it when he's high in the sky. You should uh, teach your hawk how to tie a rope. Not that smart. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have a telepathic a link with your with your familiar. Well. Only, only emotions can be shared with me with him. It's a primal sort of link. You should How tell stealthy him to... is your hog? Uh, let me quickly open him up on my page. Elf is plus eleven. Could always try to steal a steal a key. Uh, are there any keys laying around? On the guard. Guards. On the guards, indeed. Uh, um, are there any guards around us right now? Yes. Yeah. Have you been listening? Yeah, I've been listening, but no, you have not. There's a guard okay. posted outside of our door, twenty-four-seven. No, uh, the, there is a guard. Well, the door when I, with the door mentioned is this one. There's always guards outside of the cell block. Oh, this. Oh, okay, that door. Wait, let me quickly. Uh, <laughs> Do you think the guard would not have made you shut up if you were talking with him like five meters away from you? Shh. <laughs> I don't think. What directions. What direction are the guard? Are the guards the, the guard... facing? Okay, you can look, see it, but they can scroll can't... out a bit. See 18D, 18C. See that little brownish thing right in between them. Uh, down. That's the door. Okay. This... I'm gonna, I'm gonna like motion over to uh, my friend over here. What's uh, what's your name, by the way, in here? Uh, who are you talking Where's to? Where's the veil? Huh? Maldrick. Maldrick. Yeah. What's okay, up? so I'm gonna I'm gonna motion over to Maldrick to hand me hand me some of the lock picks. I can I can start attempting to get to work on it. Yeah, but be careful. I can't put them back away if we if uh, they their spot if they come. And I take him out of the veil and then hand hand, hand them over to Sharion, was it? Yes. yes Grognak thinks you her. should be ready to swallow them. That'll be painful on the way out. Yeah. Really. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! A little pain on the way out saves his head for today. Well, within three days. So, oh, un okay. unfortunately, Sheriel is not actually trained in disabled device. Uh, that's got to be... <laughs> so I, and that's a trained only skill. Yeah, so I don't know how successful you this attempt would actually be. Not. Well, not. I trained only means can. you can only make a DC-10. And I'll tell you right now, the locks, while easy, are still harder than a DC-10. Okay. Why can't you make a real way. ranger? He makes the, the, the token attempt to, you know, try and pick the lock, but it's completely ineffective. Um, quick question, though. Uh, is, does anyone have... Table device? Yes. Anyone nope. at all. Nope. I thought yeah. Max said that he had. 
I was going to until I noticed that I accidentally put points in acrobatics and climb. Accidentally. So I. Yeah, I did that while I was playing Heroes of the Storm, and I forgot to change oh. them. You can but it doesn't you really can matter. make sure that your character is the way the way you wanted it to be, because this way um, you'll need to be able to pick a lock. I mean, there's, there yeah. are other options like uh, breaking it. Yeah, but getting the key. Nobody is strong enough, or getting the key, but well. Well, loving in stealth is really not as risky. I could lose my familiar. Ariel suddenly gets an idea. Something comes to her. So she let's beat the let's beat the lock with the halfling. <laughs> okay, so she looks over to Maldrick. Yeah. yeah how, how far away are the guards, by the way? In the other room. They're in the other room. Yeah, it's yeah. just outside the door. RJ yeah. Angel, pay attention. Yeah. All right. So she starts to 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 rustle about a little bit to try and raise a little bit of concern possibly from the guards that you know s someone's maybe moving about and she she waits carefully did you have footsteps the yet? from the uh from the guards do they do they come to check on what's going on well um when you start making noise um a guard opens the door and walks toward your cell while the other while another guard is standing um, yeah, guard. Okay, so I'm going. I'm going to pretend that I I didn't notice them, and I'm going to talk over uh, talk over to Maldrick in a, a kind of louder than whisper sound, saying that there's there's a stash of gold hidden somewhere around this around this house that you mentioned. And the uh, the 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 guard approaches your cell, and he arrives, and he basically goes, "Hey." Shut it, scum! Oh, wait, wait, that house, yeah, well... Uh, well, too bad I can't go get it now. Don't, don't make me come in there, I said shut it! Wait, why, why, why are you asking me about this now? <laughs> <laughs> you two are idiots! Y'all are gonna get beat! <laughs> Can, can I please, can, hey, Villa? Can I please have traded places with Sheryl magically? Nope. Damn it! <laughs> I don't want to get in between this. <laughs> I may be a barbarian, but I'm not going to be a me shield for stupid reasons unless they're my own. We might need your strength though if you're not getting on what I'm trying to do. No, I get what you're trying to do. All right. So, uh, wait, so Sh Sheryl takes the hand from the guards, and just kind of like looks incredibly embarrassed for a moment. And then looks down as if nothing happened. Are my legs free? Hopefully, it piques nope. their interest somewhat, but it doesn't seem like it's working so far. Uh, <laughs> no, it's it's. Uh... Gr Gr Grognak uh, speaks up. Grognak think we should beat a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, you should, uh, we should I, I should. To get uh, as I as a uh, as you know, uh, Talon Guard has extremely. But extremely harsh laws. You'll mm -hmm. you'll need a bit more than just money to get uh, the guards to actually just free you, because if if uh, if they do that, they will take place next to you. See the issue. Mm. Yeah, it's oh, no. quite an issue. Um, well, it's well, actually, not like they're incorruptible, you, but you'll, um, they'll there, need there something... Were two way, there actually, there were two things that both of them were trying to do. Uh, Maldrick was trying to get a guard over, maybe to knock him out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, oh, um, don't forget, there's another guard standing guard at the other door. So I don't know what he's doing. He's but, standing uh, guard. Yeah, so standing is he looking guard. at us? Is he looking at us? Is he looking... Let me, let me describe the guards to you. They, um... They all have a, a long sword sheeted on their hips, uh -huh. and on their backs they all have long bows. And more importantly, they all have um, uh, have what looks like looks like an alarm horn 
to the other hip. If we're gonna take things, we have to be careful because they could commit some anti alarm. Either we have to do it stealth or really lucky breaking out. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Also, um, someone just asked me, uh, just asked me, um, your arms are in manacles and your feet are also chained to the, uh, to the wall in a long string. Oh, we're standing up? Yeah, yeah you're standing up. You're literally okay, bound okay. to the wall. Okay, now I get it. Extremely now I hard see for scene. us to maneuver. It's also yeah. extremely uncomfortable, especially for you, Cheryl, as you're kind of basically hanging by your arms. Yeah, she's she's hanging. Her feet aren't even bound, I don't think. Oh, God. Yeah, they so are. Hard. They are. The, oh, the, right. the chain is um, basically, um, you know those... Um, uh, those 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 eighteenth century cotton uh, cotton slave chains. Oh uh -huh. yeah, yeah, uh, the stretcher. Like uh, uh, people use a... it nowadays for uh, S and M sex, or just they use it. I don't know where you're going on. <laughs> Basically, it's a, a length of chain and then two manacles, another length of chain, two manacles, another length of chain, two manacles, and then uh, both ends are. Uh, to, uh, connected to the walls. So, you have some freedom with your feet, but not a lot. But your arms are bound to the wall. Due to my, due to my small form, is there any slack there, just, in the... There, I just posted the... a picture of it in Skype. Think of that, but on a wall. Is there any slack in the uh, manacles slash chains? No, and in fact, to... it's seriously... What the hell did you link? <laughs> Sorry, uh, the, the skeleton one that's underneath. Similar to that. I can that's, tell you that that's it's... A, that's a stretcher. Yeah. <laughs> that's not... That's... What... that's not what he meant. Oh. He's no. actually meaning just, just, just chains on the wall. Yeah, I know, but I was thinking this, but on a wall, like vertical. Whereas you're just hanging by your hands and feet. Well, your feet, well, except for Cheryl, your feet touch the floor. So you're standing on the floor, but of course it's, uh, it hurts immensely on your shoulders to, uh, to hold your arms up. So you kind of are forced to let them hang slack. Because, yeah, have you tried holding your arms up for extended periods of time? I can tell you it's hard. And uh, as for you, Cheryl, uh... Your your shoulders hurt like a bitch. <laughs> because as I said, you are kind of suspended from RJ, the wall. Um RJ. You should don't be afraid to ask these things in, in, in TeamSpeak, by the way. I mean I know uh, Everyone here will answer. Yeah, yeah. well we're, we're 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 trying to figure this out together. I mean I, it's a good idea that you want to use ghost sound, but we need to be sure that we have a plan when we do it. You don't just constantly say, I caused ghost sound, and we have certainly don't have a plan. Alright. Um, he, he was may, uh, you can roll sense motives again. Alright. Uh, Grognak, while they they keep up a brave face, well, you are criminals and you don't just get in here for nothing, so they, they are kind of afraid of you guys. And um, so as soon as the, the guard sees, uh, as soon as the guard that came to the cell managed to make you guys shut up, uh, he just returns to the, to the other room. Whatever they're doing there. Can I listen in on any of the conversation between the guards? You can attempt to. Okay. One moment. Oh, by the way, um, everyone, make sure that your character stats are filled in on your character. I think everyone but uh, Osoran has done that. What is the what is the listen under? Is it perception? Perception, yeah. yes. Perception, alright. 
yeah, that, that's something they changed from 3.5. Listen, uh, spot all perception now. Ouch. Whoops. Let's see if I can make maybe do something. Even minus five. Minus five. That might not be enough. I'm actually... <laughs> I know there was a something to here, but uh, what the fuck is it? Yeah, the, the C increases by one every X. X. Yeah, but the, 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 there is actually something to here, but... <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh, good. Um, hey, RJ, do you, you should have a... Bonus or penalty to perception, I think. It's wisdom. Yeah, what's your wisdom, RJ? He has no, he has no uh, I believe he doesn't have a, a penalty to perception because I gave it a point in it. Okay. I balanced it out because he has a little bit of low wisdom. Okay, okay, now I get it. Plus two perception. Yeah. Oh, because of his racial bonus. Well, I guess he gets to hear. Three days to escape. Give me one second, because I know there was something that you could hear, but now I can't find it in the text anymore. The fuck? Grognak want to see that window thing is. Maldrick. Uh huh. Um, I. Grognak wonder what that window thing is. I'm trying to figure it out myself, Grognak. Or, well. Yeah, Grognak. Yeah, but we, I, I don't, we haven't introduced our names ah, yet yes. since, we're, since we arrived. Sorry, what? Oh, so then. Uh, you, you carefully listen. And you can hear that uh, the two guards outside are having a conversation. A whispered conversation, even. You can hear this exchange. That Blackerly is a damned... Oh, by the way, uh, Maldrake, you hear it as well. That Blackerly is a damned thief. That game was rigged last night. If it's rigged, why do you keep going back to the gatehouse then? Uh, the beer's passable. A laugh is heard. Drinking on duty. Damn, this place has gone to shit. Captain Caledon would have never tolerated that crap, that's for sure. <sighs> Captain Caledon, he left, what, two years ago? Other guy says, almost three, and since then the place has been straight down the shitter. That old wizard never leaves his tower, he stays up there reading his books and petting his owl. And the other guy says, petting his owl, is that what you call that this, these days? The guards enjoy a bit of a laugh. Oh god. <laughs> so. You know what? I'm gonna try it with the familiar. Let's see if I can be stealthy with him. Grognak to try and enlist help from other mate. And he shake any nods his head towards uh, cell nineteen and uh, what's his face. I would like to know how you're planning to do that uh, without getting. I have no idea. Because that involves yelling. There's no yeah. way you can just talk to him. He's not. St I'm. I'm imagining that you guys are kind of whispering because being loud means they will come in. Yeah. And plus that's, that's sixty feet. That's that's yeah, not that's, whispering. That's shouting. I mean, you can try to whisper, but you can imagine what will happen as soon as you try that. I think it's a good idea to do it now as I'm trying to get, you know, a familiar summoned, summoned back uh, out of a uh, visible. I think they'll be happy when I, when I, if they see a hawk inside of the cell. Can you also absorb it again? Yes, it's a move action to do it. 
So if it can get to me, it can get uh, back at, on my, well, arm. I checked it before I... Give me a second, thing. I need to give you a token then. So as soon as you want to make it appear, well, that. Uh, it kind of goes out of my arm and appears on, on my, on, like, perched on my arm now. Ah, my lovely hawk. I thought oh, you've been in there for so long. You only want a cracker? Uh, oh. That, that's not what hawks eat. No. In fact, a parrot. the hawk is uh, quite interested in the, the things that are visible around you because, well, up until now you haven't noticed, but um, seeing that your ha hawk is fixating uh, on the floor in the, in, the, in the cell next to you, you see that there is actually a nest of rats there. Oh boy. Wait, 19 or 18? B. It doesn't matter. Oh my god. 18 B. Oh. He's next to us is the next is the nest. Okay. There, basically, there are rats here. What are the rats doing? Squeaking rat. and uh, doing ratty things. I don't They're know. What do, what do rats do? They're making they ratty chewy. Anything? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, um... Going back to my plan, I say, Go, Avi, try to get the key. And I let him fly out, sneak out. Isn't the door closed? I hope he can fit. The door is closed, <laughs> Why not but... just make some... Uh, there's a way out uh, via, the, uh, via the, the, the ceiling windows. Why not just make noise and get the other guy co to come in? Yeah, well, now with the hawk out? Yes, have the hawk hide. Uh, how can he hide? <laughs> have you seen you hawks? Know, hawks are fucking large. He's a small creature, so. <laughs> but no, no, I have him no, no, no. Okay, okay. So, see where we are uh, from the door. Wouldn't when he opens the door, if the hawk hit over here, wouldn't he just be looking over there? So his field of vision wouldn't see the hawk. Uh, these are bars. You control the hawk completely, right? Why not that's just your, have the hawk flying up above here. him then? Anyway, that's exactly what he did. He was. He said that the hawk should. Go try and steal some keys, right? Yeah. Okay. Stealth, please. I'll just use my skill well, macro. This is our Come only on. chance. Come on. Ah, he rolled bad. Hope they don't roll above the, the, that stealth roll. Well, you hear the ha hawk flap off, and then you hear nothing for a while, and um, less than, like, a minute later, the hawk returns with something shiny in its beak. The guard Gosh. just rolled a 1 and a 2. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. So did, no, no, no. Did the, car, did the guard accidentally blind himself while trying to take a drink? No. Polly so, got a cracker. He perches again on, on, my, on my arm and say, Good boy, good boy. I take the, the item from his beak, hoping it's a key. It is a key. Well, it's actually nice. a ring with a few keys on it. I show it to the others and quickly put it behind my... my uh, like uh, underneath my clothes to hide a little bit, and then I, I whispered everyone, "Wait patiently." Which clothes? Well, the tattered rags we have on. Sorry, there's, there's nowhere and, under. Uh, it's like, um, never, how never, you should imagine these is it's like uh, you're wearing a. You know, 
the when you go to the hospital, you you get one of those uh, reverse gowns, yeah. like the ones where you feel even more naked than actually being naked while you're we- you're wearing them. Yeah, I don't yeah, know okay, how I they manage that, but yeah. basically, there's no. Uh, there are no pockets, there is no way to hide. up your bum. Can I? Wait, 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 wait. I have the veil still, right? It's probably, like, tied around my neck, hanging underneath the racks, right? I'm uh, assuming that you have it in your hand, uh, rum- oh. rumpled up. Okay, okay, that's different then. Well, before, uh, to not rush things, I immediately uh, put the, well, make the hawk a tattoo again on my arm. To, yeah, you know, hide it again. And then... Uh, silently as I can, I try to open my own shackles on the gr- on the ground. Uh, that's that's probably stealth or that's not really a check. You have the no? keys. Yeah, I'm assuming that uh, that you that you don't drop them. No, 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 no. I'm not clumsy. Okay, your hands are free. Are my feet as well? Your feet are free. It's another key, but. Okay. Got her. Oh, and you gonna help me out too? Yeah, well, I help Shariel first because she seems like she's hurting from her arms and stuff. Uh, and I help the others. Uh, Maldrak. Yeah? Am I doing something wrong? Um, well, you are going to help Shariel. As I said, she is kind of. Um, well, I suspended above, above the ground, so you might want to oh. do a... Uh, I, I would say that one does require a stealth, because you are actually kind of uh, making sure oh, okay, that Sariel okay. doesn't fall onto the floor okay. with, a, with a... You could do me first. Logical, log- logical saying, yes, let me say that I'll untie Grotnok's hands first. Well, he's lo- he, he shouldn't need a stealth, and then I'll tell him to support her as I unlock it. Yeah. I'll, I'll hold her up by her arms. No, but... <laughs> uh, slave trader. Yeah, I free everyone. Okay, okay. I, I try to uh, I convince the whole group. I'm, I'm whispering to everyone. And as if we're still bound. Oh. Lure them in here. Wait, 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 wait. And then we can we surprise can... them. We have the keys, we can do what we want in this cell block. We should, have... uh, we should not be next... in this. Remember, they have alarm horns. They can sound for alarm. Grognak wonder, what if we release the other guy? Maybe he caused ruckus. Okay. First things first. Someone we should have... ask him. Oh, we... Cough, cough, well, face. How can we... You want to go up to him and talk to him? What if he goes berserk and we're still in the cell? Okay, first things first. How that guard. The one that's like... Six feet from us. Or how many? How far away is that guy? At least the more than other six. Other side of the door. It's a hundred feet. Hundred oh. feet. What the? They they at believe the the they believe these cells to be unbreakable. And actually, as it, um, as you Maldrek and as Maldrek and also uh, Ozorin heard, they kind of don't give a shit about their jobs. Well, let's say that we just. Go out. I mean, we should, we should be strong. We have a couple of weapons, and I pointed the two daggers in the veil. We should be able to at least get a couple of, of the guards down to, to get some more weapons. You, you I might want to be use able the to... halfling as a weapon. Is that possible? No. Pardon? Damn it. You still want to do the crazy things, Mac? But it's a viable excuse to wield a halfling. I want to beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Well, there is actually uh, there is a, uh, a rage power called body bludgeon. And then you can, in fact, do I'm that. going to get that. I'm so going to use, get that now. As long as you don't use our, our ranger, you know, to do that shit, I'm happy. <sighs> Fine, I'll use our cleric. Fuck. Or, wait, wait, Osiren, are you? Because are you? I'll, I'll call a spray your ass. Osiren, <laughs> what are you? I'm an oracle. Okay, I'll use our oracle. Or I'll use the hawk. Alright, well, we need to, we need to come to a decision. No, no, also, are, we, are we gonna do Sheriel's plan or are we gonna do uh, Maldrick's plan? We should just go out and, and then start. I will, I will remain. Uh, I will remind you of the, the the things you know. Number one, you are free from shackles. Number two, if a guard comes in now, 
they will see that. Because That's you might be able to uh, to just act as if you're uh, uh, as if you're still shackled, but uh, Shariel didn't suddenly grow five feet tall. Number three, you heard from the conversation that the guards uh, don't really give a shit about their jobs. And number four, there's a well. I'll I'll, exp- I'll uh, show you the the guy. Yeah, he's actually... the man goblin. I'll show you. Okay, well, um, since we know that they don't really care about their 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 job, and it's. Th- we should just start going out, I mean... What if we lock them up? What would that do? Knock them out, lock them up. Uh, does anyone have knowledge local or knowledge, knowledge engineering? Jack. I have uh, both of those, I think. Okay, uh, use the one with Jack. the highest rating. I have knowledge local. Go ahead. That's a blind skill hole, please. I hope I get an actual... Is it a blind roll? Yeah, blind. So, um... Boom. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know exactly how these work yet, but, um... I'll show you how these look on my side. Just for once, I'll just show you that you actually made it. Alright. I have no idea how these work. Yeah, this is what I see on my side. Yeah, basically, it's like we don't know if it's if it's good that we rolled. So you see three results, but you okay. do not know which result I will actually be using. It's random. My script randomizes a number from one to three. There's no way for you to know it, but yeah, it's a seventeen. Um, that's quite enough. It is an ogre. Uh, ogre. Okay. You don't know how he got in on he got in here, what he did, but uh, probably nothing good. I mean, he's an ogre, and um, that would be quite a distraction. Yeah, but how do we know he won't turn on us, and we can't really go fight him and guards in the, in the meantime? Uh, they have average intelligence, so we might uh, you know, negotiate Shari? with him. Oh yeah, sorry. Him, but... We could offer the guards his food. Oh, we could. We. I got a better idea. We can offer him freedom. Does no. anyone speak orc? Uh, he's an ogre. I don't think they, they speak, oh. speak common and right. giant. How so, are the guards armed? Speak. I told I'm you, long swords, long bows. Uh, sorry, long swords, long bows, and. Uh, User and disconnected from your channel. Oh. All right. Wait, wait. Someone disconnected. Mac. I think it's uh, Mac. That happens. User Mac. joined your channel. Um. Well. Error. Okay. Since it's average intelligence, we can. I'm gonna do take. Them. I'm gonna take charge of the situation. Okay. Go give ahead. me the keys. Um. If you're gonna try negotiating with him, maybe you should let me do that or assault him. I'm not going to try negotiating with them. I'm going to threaten them. The threaten? I mean, the, sometimes being uh, sweet. <laughs> Have you seen can the be guy? And, 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 a, and as you as you speak with Sheriel for a moment, the you know the three foot halfling, you realize that you you recognize her from somewhere. Actually, a very famous performer from around around Wait, what's the I do? Place? from around Talengard. I mean you. You would because she's kind of famous in the area. Part and of her trait. What did she do? But you again also to... know. You also know that she is um, guilty of high treason, trying to assassinate the king's daughter. Something so bold, you know, could possibly and respect. Uh. Grognak, can Grognak offer that? Mm. Oh, Grognak think that we should vote. Alright. Go ahead. All in favor of I'm charging out of here? Oh. And letting me do the talking? 
No, actually, if we're gonna vote on that, I actually agree that we should use the Ogre, since we can, you know, employ his strength to our escape. Yeah, we should use the Ogre. Well, the Ogre is past that guard. How are we gonna deal with that it's one? It's not guard? a past to guard. Angel! 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 Guard, outside door. Ogre, right next door. Box. This, the this is one room, and there are no guards. We would see the guards if they were there. Basically, we're inside the inside yes. a big room with a couple of cells with a cold room. We can right, actually so just the only walk up to here. him and talk to him. The only people inside this big room that you see now are you, for and the ogre. If there was a guard in here, I think you, you would have... surely been caught. Yeah, because, I mean, they're, they're oblivious, but not that oblivious. <laughs> I mean, we... We, it makes some noise unlocking chains. If I was doing that, and the hawk especially, he would already notice and sound the alarm. Regardless, it's getting stifling within these quarters. I say we move. Yeah, well, let's go then. Can can Grognak? Can I can I roll to hold down the halfling while while Maldric goes to talk with Ogre? We no, we don't need to do that. We came to a conclusion. We were going to talk to him. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Yeah, we Just did. Just talk to him. Oh, we I guess I was freedom. Like him. Okay, how are you going to talk to the ogre? Basically, I'm just going to open the door from our cell and go to his cell door. Okay. Mm, you might want to be careful. Doors might be creaky. Yeah. Oh, I guess not. Never mind. Uh, knowledge engineering. I mean, it already happened. We already knowledge did engineering? There we go. Alright, one second. Didn't we already do an engineering check for that? No, for uh, the locks. Yeah, that, that was for the, for the locks. For the locks. Did I do a blind roll or a skill roll? Yeah, that's a blind, blind. roll. Knowledge rolls are blind. That's the wrong one. Uh, what I, I did I the wrong one, my bad. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you passed either way. <laughs> that's a, that's a good roll, though. Yeah. Of course, I need to use a 16, <laughs> but that's enough. Oh. Um, the, the, the door looks well maintained. You don't think it's creaky. The well, cell door. I will, I will from now on um, make sure to, uh, to mention if I'm talking about the cell door or the outside door. Okay. Um, a quick... Recap of what was in the fail. We had the window looking thing that we don't know about, two daggers, a potion, some tools that we already took out, and was there something else? Clothes? Commerce clothes? Yes. Uh, am I missing something? The window? Yeah, the window I already said. Um, I think that's it. Pouch, potion, two daggers. Oh, the pouch, uh, yes, the tools, pouch. window. A uh, lantern, money, and a rope. Okay, yeah, we gotta write all that down. Yeah. It's in the note card section, you can just click on the veil. Oh, is it then? Oh, God damn it! I hate this. Like, I'm just gonna restart my computer. Oh yeah, you can actually... Oh yeah, the bullseye lantern, it's actually shown in the veil. It's pretty nice. Yeah, they're all... Oh, wow. Okay, so before we start our uh, approach to the door and stuff, I make sure to take out the pouch, take look in it, see that it's a spell component. I smile. Close well, it, uh, it like. contains uh, a spell com the the big bag contains a spell component yeah. pouch and commoners clothes for all of you. For okay, sense. so now we. And by the way, from Who's Grumblejack. Yeah. yeah, he is going to restart his computer. Uh, from Grumblejack, you can see. Immediately, the kinds of rags you are actually wearing. Okay, so. okay. But, um, so I take the spell component pouch out of it and I, uh, hold the back. I hold it or I tie it somewhere or that I don't really have to keep in mind that I'm ha carrying it. Well, since so there's commoners' clothes in there, you can just put them on. <laughs> oh, true. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna don the, take the moment to don the commoners' clothes. And, oh, um, it, too. it, um, it dawns on you that the person that gave it to you must have really known who you four are because you notice that there's three normal sized ones and one smaller set of clothes. It's not just they a really guess. Wanted us to, to escape. They knew 
who they were going for. Oh, well, I give everyone their share of clothes. Uh, and then I'll start the... So let's go talk to Mr. Ogre, shall we? Okay. Okay, so we all try to sneak over there. Oh! Well, let's try one person for starters. I'll just keep the door open that if trouble emerges, we can, can engage in action. Alright, so I'll sneak over there. Uh, the Maldrick is the face. I'm, I'm Those... kind of... I have high charisma for a reason. <laughs> If you want someone to be the, the, to do the What's diplomacy, your uh, he has 20, 20. Di 20 charisma and a lot of diplomacy, so... User all right, your all right, whatever. Okay. Oh, I, I don't have a Nothing spirit really. at the moment, okay. so... So, um, Maldrek, you approach the door. Go ahead, yeah. approach it. Uh, okay. Traps! No. Why? Why? Not that oh, door. Oh, his door. Okay, okay, my bad. Uh, uh, I don't need a skill roll to see if you manage to pick, uh, if you manage to stick a key in it. I think you're competent enough to handle that. Okay. And the uh, the the ogre the ogre sees you and he grunts silently for an ogre. I mean, it, if there ever was such a thing as a uh, as a, a discreet ogre, this is it. Freedom? Who are you? Name's Maldrick. You see, we just escaped. If you want, to, if you want to join us, help us get out. Hmm. It's your call, man. Doesn't know hey. if he trusts you. Diplomacy, please. Ah, right. <laughs> uh. That's just a skill. Yeah. Diplomacy, and it's a five. Yes. Twenty-four. Hmm. Okay. I have some beef to settle with these guards, dumb little ones, thinking they can capture me. <laughs> he he looks Hello. quite hurt though. Uh, you're right there though. I see, I see some wounds. Yeah, he's uh. He's unarmed, unarmored. Looks kind of dazed, but not in a in a magical way. And he looks a bit hurt. All right. Well, I, I'll, I'll see what if we can maybe get some get you some. Uh, uh, what, what, sorry, I'll see if I can maybe. T help uh, tend to those wounds a bit. And I look at the others and I do a thumbs up to say that he's in and I start unlocking his door. How bad are his wounds? Uh, make a heal check. You can all move now. Because Maldrek just how gave do you I, this... How do I move? By selecting and moving. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> I know magic. <laughs> Don't go to the door yet, uh, Grotnek. No need to to uh, get those get the guards involved yet. All right, no. so I'll make a heal check. So no need to stick your dick in a hornet's nest yet. User disconnected from your channel. Uh, What's up with Mac today? Yeah, because that's a that's not. Is, is the internet or something? User no, no, that's Sorry, a that's this. Um, no need to stick my dick in a what? In a hornet's nest. Oh. No need to. Oh, okay. no, is this no a skill to... roll or a blind roll? Uh, what? Sorry, what? Uh, heal check. That's a skill roll. Yeah. Uh, that's not a solid. I think he looks fine. That's a solid do it. I believe he has the, the the good heal check. Yeah, plus three. And he's try. Kind of our uh, our heal bolt. Oh, I had plus five. So <laughs> okay, fifteen is exactly what you need. Um, nice. He looks to be about at at a third of his. Uh, of his strength. He even seems to be a bit poisoned. Well, in the past. Well, the door is unlocked though, I, say, I whisper and you're... And uh, I kind of made a small mistake here because he's not obviously there. Yeah, he's, he's shackled to the, to the... Yes. So... 
Oh, so maybe the conversation takes place where he's standing then? Huh? Yeah, you, you I could, uh, could, could just unlock you it. Could, you could just have uh, done the conversation like here. Yeah, well, uh, true, but... Anyway, um, when, if you, if, when you eventually unlock him, um, he takes his shackles. He takes them with him. Oh. Hmm. Smart move. I, I keep an eye. I, I I look at him, see like, what's he going to do? <laughs> hey, can I can I? Uh, uh, Grognak want keys. Grognak want use chain as fist. Door is open. You just just go. No, I, I never locked them. The, no, the, I'm asking. I know what he's asking, so can... and um, Grognak just had the same idea that Grumblejack had. Oh. Namely, uh, to use the the. Things that that held you to the wall as a club because you Yay. don't have weapons. We have oh yeah, but we have two daggers. I mean, that's well, true. except for those. Yeah. yeah, I'm Grognak. I use strength. I don't want to use a dagger. I want to just punch people. Yeah, but the thing Fine. is, the Can dagger, dagger focuses then? on your strength. I believe. Fine. Can Grognak have dagger? Uh -huh. Dagger one d four. Yes. It's not a lot of damage, but it's damage. It, it's remember, damage, so you, max you might for me. Not, maybe knowing from the, 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 the familiar coming out of my arm, you might have noticed that I'm maybe not just a normal guy. I might have some magical powers. Tr tricks up a sleeve. Yeah, I might have some uh, spells that help really I, far in the, in the guards outside. I politely ask Magic to uh, use one of the daggers. Yeah, I, I, I take him out, take everything out and put it in the bag, to be honest. So like, if you want a dagger, just there, take it. Much appreciated. It's getting dark in here. Well, the time you have spent. You, you still hear the, 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 the guards silently talking to each other. You can't really understand what they're saying. It's not important. But it's getting dark in here. The night is falling. Well, I, I give signal to everyone, including Grumblejack. Maybe, or, uh, wait, no, first. Oh, sorry, maybe you should check him out. Give him a give him a, a heal or something. I thought you were a bit of a divine. Okay, um, I'm gonna cast Cure Light, Rain, Light Wounds. Okay, roll 1d8 plus And oh. Grumblejack uh, uh, grumbles, huh. thanks little one, and he ruffles your hair. While we're at it, uh, this potion, can I quickly do a spellcraft to see what it is while they're healing up? Or doing well, a uh, spell? Um, actually, you know what kind of potion it is. This is a, it's a potion of cured light wounds. Hmm, useful. And that's, all the, that's all the others here, and I put it back in the bag. I don't tell what it is just yet. An invisibility potion, I assume. No, it's no, a potion no, no, no. of your life force. <laughs> wow, were you not listening? So, you don't... I, I know, I mean, I, I don't know what it is, so I'm just... Yeah, in, it, in, in character, you only know that I said, hmm, useful. And I put it, and, and me putting it back in the bag. And then I, and then, well, I start giving a signal that we should head to the door, like... How do you want to do this? Escape. Well, I'm hoping that they're a bit smart and that they allow me to do uh, like a bit of a, of a flashbang, like they do in the SWAT teams, like open door, color spray if they're close by. But that's easy. Oh no, I have an idea. How would you do that? Because well, they they are, they are, have no idea that you're actually outside of your cells. Obviously. Yeah. Um, me and Sorin both have the spell Ghost Sound. We can use those to try to get them over to us. Even making noise can help with that. Making uh, making a bit of a rustle. So, um... Do you really want to alert them? Well, I don't think that... I don't Surprise think they will, they will, I, I don't think they will sound the alarm horn if they suddenly, uh... 
hurt well, combat. They will probably come to investigate, like open the door, and that's when I'll strike. No, <laughs> if they hear combat, that's the first thing they will do. <laughs> like, that's exactly <laughs> what the, the alarm will They won't the check out if they won't check out if they, if they see heard some noise from the from inside. Like talking is one thing. That's sound to expect. What Fine about something like, different, right? the commander's Stupid. voice calling from calling him from the other direction? We can't. Uh, Joe's sound like that, is not that, uh, that. That. That's. Uh, okay. From we can, come in. We can we can emulate uh -huh. several things with that spell, up to a strength of four humans. Why not just make noise, have them come in and attack? Yeah, but I want to be prepared if Tell something Grumble happens. Tell Grumblejack our plan. Um, He's probably been listening. Why don't we ask Grumblejack? Like, what were we saying, Zola? Uh, well, do you ask Grumblejack what he would do? Grognak asks Grumblejack what he'd do. God. Grumblejack smash door and smash guards. Grognak like idea. Grognak with him. I have no objection. Well, how about we just open the door and let him smash them? I hope the building holds under all the, the smashing. Well, like, well, that works for me. Yes. There's something oh, yeah, that uh, that you would be able to do if the door is smashed. Yeah, I know. I mean, t it's not infeasible for you to just uh, have someone else smash the door and then, while the cars are there, like, huh? color spray them. Yeah, I know, I know, but the range, I have to keep the range in mind. I don't know where they are in, in position to the door, so if they're not close enough, I have to use an action outside of to, to get close. Well, that's a risk you'll have to take. Indeed. So I'll get as close to the door, and then I'll say smash it. Okay. Like, I'll stand here if it's possible. If not, I'll stand here while Grumblejack uh, starts smashing. Wait, maybe here. No, no, no. Not him. Me. I think it's, he's big. That's the I, I want to take a moment before everyone starts the smashing and stuff. To, mm -hmm. I'm just going to... Just offhandedly search through this this one room over here, eighteen. Because I, I don't think though. I have time to search through everything before they smash stuff. I need the keys though. Hey, can I pick up a rat? Oh, where's the keys? Is it? Can I? Can I just like look through the bars, see if there's anything? I don't want to go through like a whole yeah, search. That yeah. uh, all of the other cells actually look empty. Well, let's start. All right, except for the rats. The rats are prisoners too. You just don't know it yet. No, the rats. Oh yeah, the rats actually, are over there. The rats can actually uh, walk through the the bars freely. Shh, they're prisoners too. So, give me your positions as you proceed smashing. I'll stand here, ready to color spray. Wait, you were going to get as close to the door as you could. You said. Yeah, but uh, I mean, standing here is kind of hard if if they're standing on the other side. I mean, let's like, let's take like this then. Or I'll be standing if Gr uh, Grumblejack is standing there to smash the door open. Okay. Maybe our healer shouldn't be so close to the fray. Nice. Nah, okay. Should we? Just in case, so Grumblejack could step back a bit. There we go. And Grumblejack um, turns around to you and says. Can I smash now? And I nod and smash! start smiling. Go for it. He, he rubs his hand and he says, Oh goody. As he, uh... Give me one second. Da -da -da. Oh god, I'm thinking about that one dungeon in World of Warcraft. Raz, smash! Grumblejack smash! Yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now, that's gonna do. Hey, is as he, um, And as he's, uh, as he's, he, he, he kind of, uh, gets his proper balance, and basically with his shoulder, he smashes in the door. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the guys behind it is like, what the? And they they try as soon as they see you, they try to take out the swords. But of course, you have a surprise round. Grognak. Okay. 
Can we suggest uh, now? Let me do my casting, really. <laughs> okay, first, um, I, I, wa I want to see which one was the one that entered. Like, they look similar to you. Eh. You notice that uh, okay. uh, the one on the left uh, does not have a uh, keyring anymore. And the guard <laughs> is not the most um, perceptive. Huge more sober. Like, mm. Okay, I'm going to go on the one on the the, the left song. Maldrak right. just asked to uh, to let him do his thing. Oh yeah, sure. I don't care. Also, also, uh, Gognak, you are uh, you are holding the keys. Perhaps a taunt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like, jingle them, jingle them, and say like hey, oh, missing these. Blade fifteen going. Was it 15 or 20? Make sure you have yourself selected. Yes, thank you. 15 foot uh, cone, okay. Myself selected. Okay, ignore this until it's your, it's my turn. Oh wow. Playing Tetris now? <laughs> <laughs> and um... Grumblejack gets a very happy sk smile on his face as he gleefully smashes the one on the left against the one on the right. Aww. He smashes a motherfucker with another motherfucker. I love this guy. That's exactly <laughs> what he does. <laughs> Grumblejack smash! He misses. <laughs> uh, well, God not successfully. Shariel? Um, this is a surprise round, so you have one action. Move or standard, not both. Um, I'm gonna hang back. Okay. While the smashers do the smashing. Also, I'm... Very well okay. unequipped. Cast uh, less on the uh, around us in the area. Sorry, your your microphone is too quiet compared to the rest. Let me fix that. I'm sorry. Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah, yes. better. Oh, better. All right, I cast bless. Uh. Okay, they get a plus one morale bonus on attack rolls and saving throws against fair effects for one minute. All of your allies within 50 feet, so basically everyone. Maldrek, let me guess. Color spray! Taunt! No, color spray. No, taunt first. Oh yeah, uh, well, I have one, one action. One on the left. I have one action, I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> Taunting is free. <laughs> okay, hey! Missing this? Bull spray! Oh, no, no, toss it to him. Oh, no, 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 that's an action. Spray. That's an action. Sorry, oh. that's an action. Uh, it's a DC 7... No, uh, 16 will. That one makes it. Bang. I haven't rolled yet. Oh, you haven't rolled it. Sorry, that was the attack roll from Grumble. One makes it, indeed, indeed though. Yeah. The right one doesn't mm -hmm. make it, so the right one is unconscious. Yeah, you can click the delete button now. Uh, does it work? It should work. Uh, clicking it. Ah. Focus the other one! Focus the other one! Nah. Okay, I'm gonna run up and stab this one. Okay. Go ahead, do that. Um. Shit, let me. Crap, I forgot to open up my uh, PDF of the hero. Well, that's not very useful anyway, because uh, uh, I'm assuming that you're using your manacles as blunt weapons? I'm using the dagger. Okay. Um, what would my plus be for attack? Just... Oh I yeah, plus know. one. No, plus one plus strength. 
You have oh, base attack uh, bonus plus strength. What's your strength? So plus four. Give me a second. Yeah, that hits, but uh, give me a quick second. Oh. Uh, I oh, don't... does Grumble Jack has ten foot reach? Just, um, uh, Grognak, just give yourself a, uh, a, a dagger in, in your lap. Just buy it for free. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what Hero I, I lap is I forgot I could do that. Also, you have a, uh, one extra... That's Grumblejack as a reach. You have one extra, uh, to hit. But you hit anyway. Oh, yeah. I get... I, that's a crit. No. Yeah, it's no. a 1920. That's oh, not wait, wait. on oh, the sorry, die. Sorry, 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 I forgot. I, I'm an idiot. Yes, you are. Shh. Don't say something if you don't want me to answer like that. <laughs> uh, it's only a 1d4 plus 3, sorry, so make that a 6. Okay, so, uh, wait, what do I do then? Why did you I'm, buy you I, I did, I bought one. Yeah, but <laughs> you, you, yours, uh, click to add new weapon of size colossal is selected for you. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> make... that was me screwing around. I yeah, make sure you actually bought a. <laughs> I know. I made sure I added medium. I, I was just trying to see how much damage a uh, okay, it's one earthbreaker would do. Uh, you, plus three. you do six. Six damage. Uh, okay. He uh, he just panicked at what he sees, and he uh, he, he he tries to t uh, to to take out his uh, his his guard's horn and attempts to blow it, but that provokes from Grumblejack and Grognak. Uh, so I roll normal. Yeah, like you... how he would attack? Yep, you get another attack. That's a mess. That is... A crit. Rumblejack smash. Me. And uh, he basically bashes the guard's skull in. And the other one is uh, still unconscious, is still just laying there. Grumblejack uh, approaches, well, so stands there and uh, basically uh, relieves the guard of his, of his head. That's a good begun. Does the deceased guard have a bow? Oh, they're both deceased <laughs> now, and yes. Okay, I'm gonna go over and um, equip the bow and arrows. Oh, uh, Angel, just wait up. Wait, wait, let me, let me... Oh, yeah, I'll wait yeah, till the he, end of combat. There, there's a lot of stuff that he does. You'll, you'll find out. It's really useful if, if when he does, though, so... I bet. Okay. <clears throat> nee. Hmm. Second shot. Um. So, as I was saying, um, you investigate to do the, the two um, axe guards, and you find that I have an amazing keyboard.
They have this on them. Ooh. That's some good loot for people who don't have anything at all. A uh, leather club. Let me see what that is. Leather club is basically um, if you had been more annoying and uh, talkative, they would have come come in and basically reduced your uh, your uh, your knees to well. Not a knee anymore with that. I was checking if I could if I could use it, but I don't. Yeah, if you, um, if you want anything, take it. Um. Okay, I'll take the longbow. Do oh. I have to type a command for that? Yeah, yeah, it says what you need to type in the in even. I have to type the number. Okay. Yeah, no, follow the instructions. Exclamation point, loot, space, take. Nice. Oh, there you go. Um, almost nice change shirts and Sherry and me will be in the background. Maybe Osovin should take the change, the second change shirt. Let's say to the others. Yes, I don't, I don't require well, the what armor immediately. Oh, well, seeing as he did that. Maybe also long swords and, uh, to get a little bit of combat in. And besides, the chain shirt won't fit me anyway. Oh yeah, you're small. That's right. I I can't do it because of arcane spell failure. What does it? I have to say, a long bow looks very cute on a lady as small as Sheriel. Okay, so... Because uh, you, you should know that a longbow is about twice as high as you are, Sheryl. Oh my gosh, it's like an English longbow. It's a yeah. longbow. <laughs> it Longbows are well, long. I am... You can wield them. I am an adept ranger. So. Yeah, you can wield them. It's just not... It looks hilarious to see you walk around with it. Taking <laughs> a couple of twice your size out of outside. Um, hey, going. would it be better to use a heavy steel shield and a long sword, or just a long sword? I don't know. Um, yeah, two handing uh, the long sword, probably. Steel shield gives you AC, a shield bonus. Yeah, it gives me plus two. A long sword gives you a one point, I believe, one point five modifier to it. Your power Strength. to your power attack as well. Yeah, your bonus uh, to it, power uh, attack. It boosts your power attack, and just if you attack, uh, you apply 1.5 times strength. Well, I if think you it's better if you do a two hand. Something. Yeah, 1.5 times strength would just be a 1d8 plus 4 instead of 1d8 plus 3. And well, the room where you're in right now, well, it's a it's a small guard room. I'm gonna use a shield. And uh, you see a. Uh, shit, I forget if you're actually on the second floor or not. I'm... Yes, you are. Uh, the stairs go down to the first floor. I have to say, Maldrick, that trick with the hawk earlier. <laughs> that saved just, our butts. I'm just happy it worked because I had a shit roll. I mean, plus 11 and I got 15. I could have rolled better. Uh, so what you see here is... Well, there are some, some chairs next to the door. Where the, the X guards would have been. There is a schedule on the wall, and if you look at it, you see that uh, guards are rotated every eight hours. So, you'll be safe here for some time. Well, we better get a move on. Oh, I'm sorry, that um, uh, the hog actually didn't steal from him. The hog stole from a peg on the wall where no longer, where you would have found a, um, a ring with all of the, the keys on it. But your hawk found it for you. <laughs> Very useful. What to do next? Well, get out of this place, maybe? The guards come to this cell. I, I look at the diagram. Is there, like, does it look like there's any more cells besides the room of cells that we're in? Nope. Does it show that? There is a... You are... You see before you a fireplace with a chimney that goes down and up. 
You see a stairway that goes down. You see a door to the north where um, your cells are. And you see a door to the east uh, that nobody but Maldrek knows where that goes. Dead end. It's only a room with a table in, in it. I say to the rest. Perhaps we should... Grognak, follow Maldrek. I say we just start leaving this place. I mean, I've never been in this situation before. I'm unsure of what to do. Well, of course well, you've never been in this situation before, because... Uh, you if are you the were, first... you were, you'd be dead. Probably. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Usually, oh, if you come it? out of that cell, it's to be led to the gallows. Well, let's start heading outside. I mean, it won't be if we stay downling, it will just get captured again by the other set of guards. Okay, what I, do you I do? Well, I say we just go down the stairs. I agree. You go down There's the no... stairs. Okay. Making sure that Grumblejack and, and Grotnog are first, being as they are the more bulky of the two of, of us. And I make sure Grognak stops trying to use me as a weapon. <laughs> Oh, you moved us. Uh... Project, stop it! Pretty sure he does now, because he has a sword and 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 metal bar. Okay, thank you. Else, I have used one color spray. You are in a stairwell, and it is, um, it's dimly lit by a sconce holding a torch. Otherwise, there's nothing else here of interest. There is a door to the north, and a stairway that leads back up. I'm gonna take the torch. In my offhand. Okay, well. <laughs> Wait, who is that? Ariel. Um, I don't think it's a good idea to put it in the torch because, you know, if you come back, you have to Give me a quick second because uh, it is a night. And don't you have night dark vision? No. I don't even dark I'm a, I'm a half one. Oh, goody. Okay. I'm, I need to move some people. Have we already um, changed clothes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think that we, we thought it was better to just equip part of it. What's the word? Uh... Yeah, give me a second while I uh, move some things around. Yeah, I'm just taking the breaks to read up on stuff. Yeah, I should do as well. Read up on the familiar a bit. Okay. So, um, do you remember what was said in that uh, conversation that you overheard? Uh, the wizard stays in his room, never comes out, uh, always masturbating. Oh, petting his owl, as, as the guard said it. Um, a certain captain that uh, this that, that left three years ago um, this place has really gone to shit over the years after he left yes and something what about a, a game in the gatehouse yeah every night and and good beer oh so perfect night sleeve 
We just gonna stir up a hornet's nest, are we? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's uh, that's tech. that's uh, the, the perfect thing you can. Do. Uh, that this might mean that there are less people at their posts. You're right. I'm actually thinking the other way. <laughs> well, I say let's keep going. Mm. Open the door, see what's up there, fight. So you open the door, you get on the floor. Yep. <laughs> Do you walk the dinosaur? <laughs> I walk the dinosaur. Um, you just open the door. Well, I guess, I mean, we gotta progress. Okay. Yes. Why are people turn their tokens again? Let's also make sure like, that Grognag and, and Grumblejack are, you know, in front. Because I have shitty AC. Alright. Uh, can you, do you know the rules for moving through a large allied creature off the top of your head? No penalties. Uh, no penalties, indeed. No penalties, alright, cool. Only when it's an enemy that you need to do acrobatics to not get a text uh, and stuff. There's a guy holding guard at the end of the hallway before you. And as he sees you, he uh, is not quite sure what is going on, but he knows that you're not supposed to be there. And he readies, uh, and he readies his bow to attack you. But you react first. Right. So, can I move over to... Actually, I'm just going to move. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a way to see how far you're moving. St uh, uh, press and hold your character as you're uh, dragging it around, and then press the spacebar. Drag your character around and then press the spacebar while you're doing that. And then you'll get 20 a... Feet. So that's my full, full move speed per turn. Yeah, 30. That's not 30, that's 20. Oh yeah, you have Small. 20. So that's correct. Am I unable to attack after that? No, you're able to attack. Alright, so I'm going to... Attack! Where's the guard at the end of the hallway? Go ahead. Um... Take a guess. <laughs> Roll <a> two. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that you missed. Aldrek! Uh, I was gonna do my move. Kind of far away to do stuff. I should have taken a bow. Fuck. They have pretty good decks. But I'll just move here and that's it. Okay. He smiles and looks at the at the, the sword that he had that he looted from one of the guards, the one that was not taken. And he he, oh, he says, "This is gonna be fun." <laughs> and I don't know what his movement speed is. Might be forty. Mm. Yeah, it's 40. I hope he can charge. No, he can't. Uh, not I through Sherry, only he can't. No. Actually. There it's is two sizes down. No, so... the, the good news is that there is a line that does not lead past Chariel. That that not lead that doesn't lead through Chariel. And is within double his movement speed. So he says, and um Oh, this is gonna be fun! As he charges to uh, the guard. Sword held, pointing that way. Uh... I need to calculate for a second, give me a second. Uh, seven, three, six. 
plus two for charging. Uh, okay, that's two-handed. A long sword does one d six, right? But isn't it more because he's smaller? Oh no, it's small. No, never mind. Yeah, one d six. One d six? No, one d eight. Yeah. Oh yeah, d eight. Uh, so one d eight. Uh, plus double strength times one and a half. Right. So Is it a power attack too? I don't know nope. how that works. He's just uh, two, two handing it. Okay. So that would be uh, three. That's uh, four and a half. That's four. Twelve damage. Bam! One shot? No! But uh, the guard does hack up quite a bit of blood. Grognag. Um, I have a question. How does charging work? You cannot. Okay. You cannot because there is a wall between you and it. You can only charge if you A. Charge for more than 10 feet. And B have a straight uh, have a have a straight line of effect from where you are to where you want to charge. And uh, uh, yes, I think. But even then, you can only mo do double speed, and that is more than sixty feet away. I have forty move speed because I am a barbarian. I get plus ten. Speed well, then is forty. you can then you can charge and uh, join Grumblejack in the fun. So I can then swing? Yeah, with a plus two. Sweet. Plus, plus two three. for charging. Make note oh. that your AC is now too, li uh, too lower until your next turn. It's only a plus two, not plus my uh, strength? Uh, an extra plus two. Oh, okay. So your normal to hit plus two. That hits. Oh, right, okay. Go ahead. Hold your D8 plus one and a half times your strength. No, I'm not using uh, that. I'm using a shield. You're using a shield? Yes. Uh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's only giving me one po one bonus damage. Uh, it gives you more, because it, it combines with power attack and like all, all this other stuff. Yeah. It all stacks. Oh yeah, power attack. Anyway, oh, you hit, right? and um, you, you kind of splatter him against the wall behind it. Yeah. And give Grumblejack a high five. <laughs> you little ones are fun! And he gives it back, almost shattering your hand. How much strength does Grumblejack have? Just, I'm just curious. Like... 21. Okay. 21. I have 17. He... Jesus Christ. Why did... You didn't change your stats like to 19? No. I forgot. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna. Well, while this is happening. I'm gonna dual wield the long sword and get rid of this, sh and not dual wield the shield. There we go. Okay, uh, I have a uh, right? dagger. Yes. She has a longbow. Also, where is the other dag dagger? Uh, Shariel and Goldneck have it. Okay. So yeah, I'm actually also pile. like one of the daggers. What did you say? I also would want like one of the daggers to uh, me and Asogan are, are asking for the daggers. I'll just like, toss the dagger to uh, uh, Maldra. <laughs> make a range it. No. How about give? I mean, we're can I please make you. a range attack for that? It's too late. He already threw it. No. Okay. Do I have to make a range attack? No. No. Oh. That would have been funny if I accidentally pierced his heart. But, I don't know about um, that. One.
piece, longbow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take a longbow. Oh, can I do that? Okay. <clears throat> oh, and one more even. No, that's correct. I believe we could use longbow. What's oh, the damage on your leather club? I don't have it. A leather club is not really a thing meant to do damage. Oh, 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 I have a good idea for that then. You don't know what these keys are for, though. Okay, um... I wonder if there's more cells just like ours. On this door. One of these doors. Ariel just notices that there's like, tons of doors in the room. <laughs> um... Bill, can you re-add the longbow I took? Because I just realized I can't use it, I'm a proficient, I forgot. Okay. I thought it would be better if I had a ranged weapon. Yeah, for once I'm assuming that you're not actually carrying everything with you that you did not pick up because, uh... That shit is quite heavy. Yeah. And you do not have a backpack to put stuff in. Hey, um... Uh, wait. I'm wearing the shield on my back, right? Because I have a heavy steel shield? Or should I... Can I just say I drop it? You can keep yeah. it on your back. It has oh, straps. Sweet. Okay. So, you have a shield on your back. And, can um... I uh, can I place snug the lever leather club between the shield and my back as well? So I could just use it to beat people up if we need to abuse someone? Yes. I, I mean, uh, thank you. How, mu how much does it weigh? It doesn't matter. I okay. don't really track that. Okay, so, um, just a quick... I, I... Because uh, the, the items are still manageable. Okay, Shariel, give me a complete list of what you have. I have a dagger, a longbow, um, I have a tunic, which I got, the commoner's clothes, I have three keys, and some arrows, I assume, to go along with the longbow. Yeah, you have plenty. I don't track mundane ammunition, and you have, you found, uh, by now you found six. Oh, well, let's ignore that. Okay. Okay, Maldrek, what are you carrying? Um, only the things that I got from the Vale. You are also carrying a dagger because Grognet threw it to you. Right. Was oh yeah, true. So the two daggers are on Maldrek and Shariel. Soren, what are you carrying? I just have to change shirt. You have changed shirt. Okay. Uh, Grumblejack and Rogn Grognet are uh, carrying two of the long swords. Okay. And Correct. Krotnik also has the shield and the leather mace. Okay. Leather club. I mean. That is okay. So, uh, you find yourself in this hallway. That is a great hall. I'm gonna examine each of the doors carefully. You know, try to look through them without actually... Well, the... the, the this door... This double door is reinforced. The others are just plain wooden doors. Okay, I'll check the plain wooden door over here first. Okay. Seeing your curiosity, I'll fall behind you. Also, good luck. Yeah, just to be careful that we're not a bit separated, even though we're in the same room. Uh, this large room has a few wooden tables and benches. It seems to be a place to take meals. A banner emblazoned with the emblem of Brandon's Car Prison hangs on the eastern wall. And there are, of course, doors to the, uh, to the north and to the south. Is the banner similar to the tattoo that we each have? No, you have a tattoo of a runic F, as seen here. Okay, what does the banner of Brand Scar look like? Well, not really a ta up? tattoo, it's a brand. There's a reason this jail is called Brander Scar, because they give you a brand that gives you a scar. 
I know. Okay. Well, what's the banner of Brand Sky look like? Oh, that's easy. Ah. Top left. Okay. I burned that into my memory. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. As rage fills my heart. You want to check the other doors? Or should we maybe try to get out of here? We are still, you know... I think we need to be careful in our approach out here because take the main gates and then definitely run into a few more Yeah, people. but we should be careful that we don't accidentally stumble into the gatehouse. Uh, you've been brought in here. You know where you are. You are in the central building. The gatehouse, the, you are in, in, a, in a courtyard outside of which the gatehouse is. And out, even farther outside, uh, there is a bridge with a small outbuilding with a, a large, large uh, uh, sorry, a last portcullis to, uh, to keep you uh, inside. Is there a ravine or a river? Oh yes, Roof? there is. Okay. So Perhaps we we'll... should exercise some caution. Which this door is do you think what it looks take? like from the outside, where you are. Okay, so our best bet is either the bridge or swim. Oh god. I can't swim. You can't well, swim. This can't is swim. very I... treacherous water. So the best bet is the bridge, so we have to go past the gatehouse and stuff. Oh goody. How about trying to disguise ourselves as guards? Well, the problem uh, is Grumblejack. Grognak thinks they would know faces. Well, you know. They're in a lot of Maybe we should ditch the Grumblejack if it means getting out of here alive. Grognak think we should not. Grognak think we should steal carriage. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, what, what carriage? I don't oh. know. Grognak think listen. there might be carriage. Grognak doesn't up. think. <laughs> Grognak, right now the bridge is up. If we ever, go, if we even want to run, there is no, there is no up. Oh, the bridge is just a bridge. Oh, I thought the you said outside of the okay. bridge is a small. Uh, a small outbuilding with a iron gate as a lost defense. But to get to the bridge, you'll need to pass the outhouse. Okay, between where we are now and that outhouse with the gate, there's nothing in between for defense or something. Well, Just guards. Yes, guards. You really want to go out of the largest prison in Talonguard. Guns blazing. Oh, not guns blazing. Sword, swords drawn. And bow, and bows drawn and swords drawn. Okay. Well, not really, <laughs> not really, drawn. not really like you want, like swords drawn and then bows and stuff. But bows blazing. You know. There we go. Bows blazing. <laughs> well, that's where. Well, we should get out of here as soon as it's possible. I mean, we're still not really. We have Let's few at least hours. search a couple more rooms so we have the option. You have, you you have eight rooms. Uh, what? Sorry, you have eight hours. You saw the the. We sh okay, I know you want to be cautious, but we have to keep the time limit in time. We have like. Yeah, eight hours is a lot. Yeah, we we you know we assume we have eight hours. We don't know when the next shift is going, or do we? Because of the schedule. Yes, you can. Um, do you know when the last shift change was? It's not so long ago, so. You have oh, most of that eight hours. Oh, we've planned to Cheryl, well. at that door, uh, you hear snoring coming from behind it. Kill them. Coupe de tat. Coupe de gras. Coupe de gras. Sorry, coupe de tat is something in time. over government. Sorry, well, I was should, government. Should... I slowly open the door. Okay. Make a stealth check. You... Wait, wait. Do you One tell moment. us to not come close? Because we don't, I don't hear snoring. I mean, I'm taking action. Yeah, but we. My character, that's we... what my character likes to do. See, like, all, 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 the, all, all, to you. all the other people, all the other uh, people see is you opening a door. Do you uh, look behind you and do like shh or something? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do that real quick. Yeah. Um. All right. So I've got a pretty good uh, check for this moment. Grognak picks. So it's gonna those. be. Is that gonna be a skill roll? I'm assuming. Yeah, stealth. Skill yes, okay. that's a skill roll. Boom. 
Ooh, nice. Yeah, they don't have they don't have a chance. They have a minus ten because they're sleeping. I should we should the artist should just stay with me to be honest. Well Grotnock can do what he wants because he won't listen. You see uh three <clears throat> I'll enter in just yet. You see three Push off duty open. prison guards. They are not wearing their chain shirts or holding their shields. And they're uh, sleeping. They do have their uh, their swords within arm's reach. The ground would be awesome right now. There I are think. a few. There are a few cots and a dozen locked chests in this room. Okay, I, 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 Grognak want to roll stealth. God, no, Go Grognak. ahead. Oh, he's doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. There's still no way for them to make that. Really? Uh, so which one of these are occupied? Can we just say the upper wall? Oh yeah, sorry, you, <laughs> I forgot to reveal them. All right, coup d'état time. To get grass. Oh. Okay. You can I, uh, I, you I, can I, quietly do that and. Uh, I um, slit this guard's throat. Yep, you do that. Can I wake one up while I'm sliding a knife in? Oh my god. Why would you do that? <laughs> Ragnar, I'm evil. Manners. Yeah, but you're still not stupid. But wake it up oh. while sliding the knife into their throat. That's I, I mean, that, that... Fine, fine, I just stabbed their throats. Uh, the one on my right. Yeah. That's an automatic crit, so basically they're dead. Now this one. Yeah, what do you do? I, I slit their throat. Okay. And uh, yeah, the room is empty now. Grognak think we should open chests. Well, I'm assuming the keys they have on them will, will unlock some. One moment, everyone. I think I have the perfect plan. Oh. I know you might have heard that one. You might have heard that from me before, but I think this is even better than the last. <laughs> so if the three of you dress in these guard outfits. When I fit in one of these chests, I think we could sneak out of here. Grognak doesn't want to listen to this bullshit. Even he knows this is a bad what idea. What about Grumblejack? <laughs> well, to be honest, sneaking out in disguise is not a bad idea. I mean, if if a charismatic Why person guards... could, oh, oh, wait, a charismatic person could bluff his way out. Grumblejack still has his shackles shot. on, so we can pretend that like. Why would we be taking him out? Shouldn't we be taking him to the execution place? Yeah, we pretend to go to the execution place. Oh, but we'd so be we on could the bridge. bring him as part the of the The execution plan. place is in the courtyard. All right, so, so I think I think we should implement this plan. But first, let's try and look at the loot. There, uh, let me just tell you that there is a very reasonable solution. I mean. Uh, unless your plan is to get out unnoticed, there's no kill reason. everything. There's no reason to keep the guards alive when they leave, they let you out after you bluff them. So it is possible to, for example, uh, kill the guards, come back in, get Grumble check out when the gate is open. Yes, yes, though, yes. Thank you. The question is, though, Grumble something. Jack agree. He seems like a, a reasonable fellow. Above <laughs> average for uh, above average intelligence for uh, an ogre. Mm -hmm. He also knows that uh, going out guns blazing is not the best idea. And um, one thing though, you all remember that when you came in here, that a password was given at the gate. And it was hurt the password, or is it? Of the course logo? you did. But since you did, you assume that it changes. Because otherwise they wouldn't let you hear it, of course. Can I look for a note? <laughs> this is not an IT company. They don't have to keep it like a post-it <laughs> note. Under... I'm pretty sure Actually, they have like daily meetings and, and can say it uh, vocally. Oh, well. So, um... 
There are several chests in here, like a dozen. And you have now found six unique keys of each of the guards. So uh, if someone would please take items 21, 22, and 23 from the loot pile. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I think. Okay. There we go. So, um, I'm assuming that you're trying to open some of the chests. Yes. You can indeed open. Uh, you found... Yeah, six in total. You can open six of the chests. But, so, are we going to do that plan, like disguise and then bluff our way out? I think we should. Well, we should give you'll it, have to, we should give it you'll a You'll have to find the password. Yeah, but well, let's see what you find. Roll a d20. Six times. And re-roll doubles. I'm going to use the Maldrex result. But I'm the one unlocking three of them. Well, Maldrex rolled first. Yeah. Also, you rolled doubles. Yeah. Um, all uniques. And uh, you'll be glad that you took Maldrex. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop do it in reverse order. So, 17. <laughs> you find a small bag of doggy treats. <laughs> Gorgonak wants. <laughs> oh god, of course. 16. I can actually use those. You don't have a pet. Oh, fine, you can you take them, I don't need them. Gar I was actually yeah. just gonna eat them. Hawk may want them. <laughs> Gee, doggy treats. Why would there be doggy treats in a place like this? You really don't oh, think, god. do you, Grognak? No, 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 I figured out why. I, I understand that they probably have guard dogs, but I'm hungry. You probably, you probably got food. Like, yes, you, food, got food. you got food. It's not like you've been starved. It's not the greatest food, but it's food. Fine. Just some very old <clears throat> and number 16, you find a small coin pouch with three gold pieces. Nice. In miscellaneous gold, coinage. Gold. I'll... Gold is gold. Fifteen. You find a set of peasant clothes and a short sword. <coughs> oh wow. <coughs> peasant clothes. Uh, Thirteen. You find a small supply of delicious looking cookies. Uh, they're ca carefully wrapped in wax paper, labeled from Lil. Which, uh, which, which, was it, was that from one of the dead guards chests that I killed? Yes. Probably. Can I sit on his dead body while eating it? You don't know which This is jobs. a joke. Okay. It's like what the, I meant. One of the ones I just killed. So that's so cruel. I mean. <laughs> yes, I actually <laughs> do want 10. to do that though. A large collection of letters from home. Kenling. Completely useless. We have some kindling. And now number three. The reason why you'll be glad that you took Maldrix rolls. You find ink, quill, and a personal journal. Ah, oh, let's see today's uh, journal uh, entry, if there is one. Well, first thing you see is that, um, that it has a schedule of um, on which days the, the, gam uh, the gambling game, uh, game goes on, and of course t tonight is one of those days. Um, and scribbled in the margin, you find a word, Hesterfield. Perfect. That's it? It has some details on the gambling sessions, but that's not really interesting. 
Yeah, and if you um, if you bait a, a thumb back through the book, you'll see that um, for every week there is such a word word um, uh, scribbled in the margin. Oh yeah, we know the, we know the code word now, password. Oh, that solves that problem. We can just you know leave. Why not? just three people dress up and leave the halfling and Grumblejack there so we reduce the risk of being found? No, I'm gonna hide in the chest and you carry the chest. Why would we, no, why would we, we be carrying a chest? Can you take okay. okay. the chest? How big okay. are the chests? Um, there's belongings in them and stuff. First why don't we first. just leave? Never mind. First things first, never split up the party. Even if it's only one person, we should never split up. That's a golden rule you have to follow in the Pathfinder. And... <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is a solid plan. I, I I agree with the disguises, but we should find a way to get Shariel with us in a way that we can get her out or get her in combat quickly. I examine the chest. Fight. I, am I able to fit inside of it? Um, you are barely. Okay. All right. Grogna, I think we should leave it here and lock it. Good thing you're not alone, Grogna. Good thing you're not alone. There's no uniforms here that will fit me. I trust you all to do the right thing. Well, we could we could hide her in uh, Grumblejack's loincloth. Oh, <laughs> well, God. he's still wearing it. Yeah, but uh, Grumblejack <laughs> will not be joining you in the, on the first run. I'm assuming. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> we need and uh, we need everyone together if we're gonna do it. Fine. But um, while Shariel is doing the thing with the box, I go over to, to Grumblejack and explain what the situation Because, well, I don't think he's been listening closely. Hmm. Where is he? Next to you? Oh. Hmm. While, while you're gone, can I smash things? I, I, I'd i like to nod for a he gets it. my thumbs up. Well. Don't. Uh, I, Grumblejack, I think you should leave locked chests. So we can get more valuables next time. I would, I'd say try to not smash things, but if you can really can't resist, well, whatever. Try not Go to ahead. draw too much attention. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I get a better idea. Go smash as lot of stuff as you can. There's, there's a couple of rooms on the other side. Go have fun. <laughs> oh, a distraction. <laughs> Hear a muffled voice from inside the chest. <laughs> <laughs> Gro Grognak sticks on the chest. <laughs> Can I have the short you don't, that Do you know how chests that we can... work? Uh, Let's just ignore Mac while he says all that stuff, because it's a bit of childish. That's what I think, but... Oh, how you, what do you think, uh, Grumblejack? Wanna have some fun? Go to the other side, make some rockets, you know? Smash things. You'll love uh. it. You, you don't even know what is on the other side. Yeah, well, my character at, at the moment doesn't really care. He likes to smash things, and I'm gonna use it to my advantage. Which yeah, other side yeah, are you pointing yeah. to? Other side of the, the hallway where Can I two use or more detect? Are. Uh, good. What the hell is up with your internet? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, yes. You're dropping packets like it's nothing. Uh, um. Dropping packets mm. like it's hot. Lagging a lot. It's like it's hot. Dropping I know that you're lagging a lot. Are you using an internet connection with a cable? Uh, no. But yeah, please use a cable. The Wi-Fi is kind of bad here. I know. Use a cable. Actually, use a cable. Give me a sec. Um, maybe you should wait with the smashing until we're actually outside. You know. Huh. All bridge smash. So, um... <laughs> what actions do you undertake now? Well, we disguise ourselves in the car's clothes. And I think okay. Grogneg is strong enough to carry Sheryl and we'll start walking outside. You just go outside. Well, we are disguised. Yeah, why would he carry Sheryl? What? I have no idea what you're saying, your internet is shit. He's asking why would I carry Sheriel? Personal uh, belongings! 
I, I have no idea what he's saying. I can't hear shit. He asked, why would I be carrying Sheriel? That That's it. Yeah, but... That's well, if, if yes, I know you. I know you can't hear what he's saying. No one can. I barely heard. All I heard was, "Why are you? Why would he be carrying?" Sh That's all I well, heard. If anyone asks, just let me do the talking. All right. And if all fails, well, I will spray. Can Can you go plug in a cable, please? It's really hard to play when when I can't hear you. That's important that I hear you. I think he went to go get a cable. Okay. I'll wait. Uh, oh, I'll take a drink. <sighs> What's hotspot going to help? It's still not a cable, that's still wireless. As I said, wireless is shit. Okay, how is it now? Sounds better. Okay, great. Wait. Nope, still not better. Really? You are dropping 30% of all your packets. Uh. Can you still hear me then? Yeah, now I can. It's going down slowly, your packet loss. I'll keep it. Okay, open. I had to switch connections. Yeah. Okay, it's better now. Okay, so, um. So, your plan is to uh, leave Grumblejack here and he will um, start smashing things as you get out because you like smashing things. And um, Maldrek, Drognak, and Osorin are going to walk out, which Sheriel carried in a chest. Yes, disguised as guards. Okay, who carries Sheriel? Drognak. Yep. Okay. I just had a great idea. Oh, no. We're not gonna do it. What? Wait, wait, what, what do you think it is? Wait, is it Mac? No, you're not gonna use Sheriel as a, as a weapon. Oh, it's close to that, but... No, you're not you gonna know... use the, share, the, the chest with Sheriel in it as a weapon. Please, don't hurt me. What? <laughs> but, but it'll get him out faster. No, we're no, not gonna smash the chest it. with Sheriel. No, it's not no. smashing it. I throw it at them. That's still bad. Okay. I serious now. What um How are you going to proceed now? Because well here you are in front of the double door. That I, leads I, to the I, courtyard. I suggest Maldrick, Grognak, and then Osarin. You just open the door just like that. Oh I hand over my keys before we do this completely. Hand over the Who three keys. It? Those are gone. Those are gone. Now yeah, you used them no, to no, open we... the chests. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah never, mind. The, the, never mind. The chest I assume is unlocked. We still have that keyring though with all the keys in it. Well, I hope we just we can just open the door. You know. Uh, can we put a siren behind me and Sheriel? Since he isn't here, that that's just what I. Yeah, that'll work. Right next to me then. Angel, uh, put him. Put your character behind me, I guess. Because I'm, I'm carrying you. Yeah, just stop okay, tracking him for goes. a second. But um, okay, here it goes. So you just opened the door. No, oh, what could you go wrong? Okay. The worst thing that could happen. What's the worst thing that could happen? Indeed. Twenty guards. Fuck. <laughs> well, one of your party members is in a chest and can't help. Well, they can help. Yeah, the, the chest is open, we just have to drop it and open the door. Is or about not even that. We'll drop it and Sheryl can open it herself. And 
God damn it. Hey, can I slip my hand into the chest? Grognak want dog treats. And I whisper that. <sighs> Alright, I give oh. you one dog treat. No, plural. All of them. That's, that's too bad. Angel, do you want me to throw you at the dogs? I will. I will literally throw you to the dogs. The courtyard of the castle is adorned by a small fountain. The fountain's centerpiece is a statue of the Mitran Pantheon's patron saint of law and order, Saint Dothan the Just. In his outstretched hand is a sword that points to the Great Hall. At the base of the statue is an inscription, Thus justice is done. A stone path surrounds the fountain and leads around the, the Great Hall. And, um... In front of you, you see a uh, dogs in it, and um, they s they see you and they start growling. Can I wave the dog treat? Uh, how is that going to help against the growling if you wave the dog treat? They might sit. Well, that's what my dogs do, okay? If they're barking, I'll hold a treat in front of them and they'll be quiet. Yeah, but, Plus, okay. they do a trick. Back. Um, where, where was that then? That is it because it's your dogs. When your dogs do that, see a stranger with a treat, I don't think they're gonna sit and do a trick. Um, they do. Okay, when a normal dog would see that. Well, most dogs I can't. Oh, wait. I'm good with us, never mind. Okay, let me say it like this. When a guard door dog sees a There we go. Treat... Okay, so um So the dogs are growling at you, you have about six seconds before they start to, uh barking. One uh, two Which way is the exit? Three north five uh, uh, uh four uh five Can we just walk over here then while they're Yeah, just walk towards it. <laughs> Right, let's just go through okay. that door. Yeah, but, uh, uh, I'm assuming that you, you you take some haste in doing so. Yeah, yes. we, we, if we can, we sprint. We know, get rush it. Okay, you take some haste. Nonchalantly sprint. Run this three times on movement. Come on. Oh, the inconvenience of having the the expert with animals in the chest. Well, you know, we could. I, I'm hoping that Grumblejack now starts to start to smash, and we can use that as an excuse to to, to do barking. And um, yeah, but then notice Grumblejack out of his uh, cell. Yeah, it's like, yo, guys, escape quickly, quickly, the gate. And uh, as you run across, um, behind you, you indeed hear the start of uh, wood splintering and. Diverse things smashing. And uh, indeed, the dogs start barking. Whether it's at you or at that sound, you don't know, but um, hey, you uh, do know that. Move myself real quickly because I'm hoping we're there. Oh. What the hell? What happened to me? Ah! I moved up because I was uh, moving myself. My bad. I don't know where you are. Uh, past the door to the north, I believe. You're not even on the map anymore. Really? Damn. Are you stacked on each other? Maybe. Well, you're dead. Oh. <laughs> oh, alright, rest in peace. Alright, <laughs> What the hell? Okay. You're completely gone. <laughs> Control C, see where I am? No, that, that doesn't do it anymore. Uh, do a Control A and then keep pressing down. Um. No, it doesn't work. Hmm. Give me a new token? Yeah, but that's annoying because then you'll be twice in the... Yeah, don't move. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm, I need to see if you're twice in the list. Yeah, you are. There can only be one. Where's the power? 
Oh, found. No, that's the crumble jack. Let's make a new one. Uh, all 20 fucked up. <sighs> well, you'll have to make sure that you don't accidentally act on the wrong uh, initiative then. Yeah, no worries. Well, you walk into a very old looking gate stone. And um, you are in a wide entry with two stout double doors with swing bars and bracelets. And um, you see arrow slits on both the west and the east wall. And I have no idea how you get it. Uh, and from behind you, you 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 hear some guards from on top of the wall shouting that uh, that there's someone um, uh, rampaging inside. A a a uh, a prisoner has escaped. Uh, -oh. uh if I'm Grumble Jack. We have to go guys, come on, let's go. And at that point you hear uh sound coming from your right. There's no door in that wall though. There is okay. a hole in the ceiling. Though. <laughs> With a ladder oh. down it. We should probably rush to the other side so they don't see us while they're coming down. You can try that. I'm gonna walk around that C, which kind of looks like a trap door. Uh, that means ceiling. Oh. That's a C for ceiling. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. well, I just go. It means there's there. a hole in the ceiling. Okay, uh, I'm assuming that you do it swiftly. Yeah, yes. because you, you hear sound coming from the right, and then after a short while, you hear some sound above you. So you open Between. the door. Goodbye, yeah. Smash Man. Oh, you're so cool. Grumble chat. Hey, real guys. I'd be happy with doing it. Do you, uh. Me. What do you do? So you open the door, you walk through it. We close the door and we start running and we keep going. And, uh, oh, well, behind you, you, you can, uh. You can hear the, the, the. The metaphorical fireworks going off. As you hear, uh, the hustling. The uh, shit of... hitting the fan. Yes, you can hear the shit hearing, hitting the fan. <laughs> oh. Though it's not that loud that it would be heard uh, to the guard household at the end. Which is a good thing. Which is a good thing indeed. Oh, all words. Give me a second time. Revealing the onwards. Okay. Loading. Damn, it's a pretty slow piece for a PC. <laughs> yeah, it's a big reveal. Yeah, I can... it's probably the ravine and shit. Oh no, the sea. Okay. And before you see a... Uh, a road going down... <clears throat> oh. Start moving! Guys? Yeah? If you want to start moving, you better start moving. Yeah, yeah, sorry. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm hoping the rest and, of the uh, you're, because... you're pretty high above the... Uh, mm -hmm. Above the water. Let me tell you that. There's no way you would survive a jump into the water from here. By the way, I'm assuming that the party is next to me when I'm moving. Yes, I'm assuming that you're kind of staying together. Yeah, well... I think that... Right now I can stop moving. Krognak, where are you? I'm gonna fast forward. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Would you move yourself, please? So here, you. and see what happens ahead. I'll move you, Cheryl. <laughs> Yeah, no need to move yourself from it because you're in the chest. So, uh. I'm, I'm, since you're trying to be, you know. guard like. Uh -huh. uh, I'm assuming that you're trying to be inconspicuous and not actually sprinting down. No, we're just <laughs> casually walking down, doing, see if we're doing guard rounds. Maybe go check out on the, the guard inside the outhouse, you know? <laughs> That's not what an outhouse is. You know what I mean. Gatehouse. Outpost. Yeah. Outpost. Outhouse. <laughs> oh, I mean, it might outhouse. be. Hey, 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 hey. An, out, an outpost might have an outhouse. That guy's okay. been in there for a while, so I'm not here. <laughs> okay, okay. I just realized what I said wrong. <laughs> Anyway, and uh, as you get to the, um, let me read. It's a wide stone bridge with a two fo foot tall uh, guardrail that connects the island to the mainland. The middle of the bridge. Uh, no, mind. And uh, you, you see that, uh, that the water is still quite high. Uh, I mean, uh, the, 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 uh, the water is very wild, but at least at this point there are no rocks. But... Behind the gate you see a guard and a dog. Behind the gate. Oh, there. How many hours have passed since the last uh, guard shift? Not many. You're uh, doing. You're you're being swift. Ah, I see. And um. Well, there's a, a, a small guardhouse on the mainland here, and there's a. There's an upside down portcullis, like uh, it seems like the pins can go down, not up, in a in a arch. And as you approach. The guard says, "Halt! I got what business do you have on uh, on land? Also, make a disguise check." Uh. Though he does smell of uh, some alcoholic things. <laughs> Liking these rolls. Yeah. But... Not really helping. Oh wait, don't you have a disguise hey, Angel, modifier? shouldn't you do it as well? I do. Oh, Soren? You need to do it as well. What? Sherry L, come on, you're disguised as a chest. Okay, I, but um, I as I said, the, the, the guard is quite... Um, he, he happy, has looked in. he's quite happy. Yes, he is happy. Uh, well, and uh, drunkenly he, he states, "What do you want on the on the? What do you need to go on mainland for now? Why are you rolling, Cheryl?" Somebody told me to roll. Chest. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't get it, but somebody told me to roll. And I'm like, okay. okay. Um, He's the perfect um, chest. She. Um. Roll, roll start. I'm like, hail, hail. Um. Yeah, we were asked to go. You know. Um, Really weird that we had to do this late at night. We have to go find some ale. It's really outrun out at the gatehouse. Ale! I like ale! Bluff check. I like ale! Hi, ale. Also, I like um, ale. 
Nat one. I also get the Nat plus four for one. telling a lie. I know. So. Ah, all right then. What's the password? Astafield. Ah, correct. Let me let me get the gate for you guys. The bow and I and I thank him. And um, he runs into the house and uh, creakily the the, the 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 bars go down. And uh, sometimes uh, and like a few seconds later, he he stumbles back out. Up, go get us some mail, guys. Also, uh, could you drop some by here first, please? Sure, sure, sure. How many do you want? Oh, you know, the usual amount. Cool, cool. Up. Good luck with the L quest. And, uh... Yes. Oh, that went well. Can I eat the dog treat now? Yes! <laughs> nom There's nom a... nom. A you, you guys just hear crunching behind you. Once we're out of sight, I, I tell to through rock neck, you can put the chest down. You know, fine, we're kinda in the clear. I'm really tempted to just drop the chest, but I'll put it down carefully. I take that as a cue to climb out after. Uh, and, uh, well, clear. I open. I actually, I open the chest and I say, "Well, how do you like freedom? Because we're out." Oh god, I'm so cramped in there. You are sweaty as fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like the the it's it's a wooden chest that's also watertight, so the inside has been a. Has been uh, handled with tar, so it's re it was really hot in there. It's like uh, as soon as you open it, there's this moist air <laughs> of, of at least thirty-eight degrees Celsius. The sweaty smell of, of halfling. No, this ha yes. the smell of sweaty halfling. I miss Grumble Jack. Oh, well, it was a good distraction. I would do it twice over if it means I don't have to be in Brand Scar again. So, what do you do? Well, we were told to go to um, meet up with the, with the mysterious guy that helped us escape. So I'd say we take up on that offer and go to him. Well, Not like there's so... anywhere else we can go. Oh. Yes, you know, you are hated. Going to a town may not be the best idea. And as you can see, by the way, there is no town nearby. But okay. So it's a couple of miles till our town. So our faces are recognized? <laughs> Not really. Well, I mean, you'll need son, to go. Uh, you'll need to go to the the old moor road, and find the manor house. And. Um, well, the good news is uh, that there's brine pools and streams that will make tracking you difficult. The bad news is that it's easy to get lost here. And it's a lot like you find found a map or something. So, um... Go ahead. Survival? Hey, survival? Uh, for, you can do survival or knowledge geography. Okay, I'm gonna do survival. Got here. Don't you have that as well, Mike? Uh, one oh. person. Ah, one one okay. person is go the person who's best at it can do it. Wow, I rolled a one. Oh, this this yeah. doesn't go well. Well, you. As you're, you're, you're making your way across the moors. Uh, 
I also have track. That's not something you need. Okay. And it is, of course, night on these moors as you're heading north. Uh, sorry, um, northeast. Uh, north, northwest. Okay, I have one question. Yes. Am I the only one with dark vision? Uh, yeah. I have low light vision. That uh, it's a it's not a moonless night, so you can see everyone with dark vision or low light vision can now see as well as during the day. Cause Others uh, see dim twilight. Because well, you know, I got dark vision. I don't bother, but the others might have problems. I know Grotnack will, will see Twilight, so I, I'm, I'm not sure about Half Elf and, and Half Lane. Woods are unknown. Yeah, I have to low light can. vision. Quite a rarity. Grotnack doesn't see anything. But remember those. Uh, uh, the, that veil of useful things? Yeah. Still has a yeah. boost. Yeah. It's a it. I want to oh, know yeah. what that window is. Oh, uh, that window. It's literally a window. Oh. You could place it against the wall and then create. A hole in the wall. That's what I thought. I was. I figured it as well, but yeah, we, we've got a better way way to get out. So we you could have just uh, held well. it behind the wall in your cell, and you would have made a hole in the wall there. Of course, you would have fell down one floor, but at least you make it out. <laughs> Not in the most civilized manner, but YOLO. We escaped. But, well. Uh, Sharyl, you think you should follow the way to the uh, to the northwest? Um. While we're out, while we're, we're, sorry, while we're outside, I'll do I'll resummon, quote unquote, my my familiar again. Okay. Your hawk shines you. And I tell it to. Um, Fly high up in the air and uh, patrol ahead. It's passive perception is 24. Mm. Let me just recheck. Yes. Uh, what's the What's the com uh, communication between you and the hawk like? Uh, I'm also. I think it was only feelings that I can get. You can also teach your hawk several tricks. Comes with no, tricks. I, you can't. It's oh. uh, a familiar, not the same as an animal companion. Um, oh, okay. Only also, is, if anyone contact. is, um, uh, does anyone would would anyone normally have an animal companion at this point? I uh, what's his face? The guy. I no, reared an yeah. animal. Uh, from birth, yeah, the wolf that I talked about that was killed a while ago. Yeah, but you wouldn't have an animal companion. That's not. I mean, you oh, would yeah, get yeah, one yeah, no, later. No, not, but... not a legitimate animal. Yeah, no okay. one would normally. Okay, so ignore that. Um, so your hawk, by the way, what's your hawk called? Arvid. What? Hawkeye. No. Arvid. Just write it down, man. Yeah. Bring it down. Bring it down. It's Arvid. Yeah. I try to say it in a, in a different way. Arvid. <laughs> Arvid. Arvid. Um, yeah, you ask it to fly up and scout ahead or something? Yeah. And um, yeah. you sense a sense of, um, well, danger. <laughs> like, it must have seen something to the north. Ah. Closely to the north, like here. Okay, it has uh, 60 feet dark vision, by the way, so... Yeah, as it gets to above here, uh, around, uh, you get the feeling that there's something dangerous there. I, I notify everyone that he senses danger, like, we have to be careful, there's someone nearby. Something. Or something. I try to walk more cautiously. Lower. And just being on a careful lookout, also keeping my ears open. 
How, which way do you walk? Uh, northwest. Diagonally. Yeah, yeah, you know that it would be northwest, but you also know that there is something dangerous here. I'd say we try to uh, evade it a bit by going like do you southwest. Do you walk a circle around the danger? Well, it depends how yeah, Mr. Grognet goes, because he's, you know, not really smart and wise. What kind of creatures live in these woods? Knowledge local to... Knowledge nature. Nature. Knowledge nature. Nature? Local would be for town, I think. That's right, for towns. Follow Maldrek. Mm hmm Grognak, follow Maldrek. Oh, follow Shadio. She's the one are there any... Fighting. Are there any prints yes. in the ground? Grognak, As I said, like uh, the, these moors are trackless. It's really hard to track something. But uh, do you no, have knowledge in nature? Around. Does anyone have knowledge in nature? No. And uh, knowledge it? local would be uh, uh, suitable uh, as well in this case. Okay, then I'll use knowledge local. Just a general knowledge of like creatures. So knowledge local. Um... You know that there, there are uh, rumors about there being a, a, a very aggressive giant toad that has these parts as its lair. We should kill it. There could potentially be... A, I know it sounds crazy, but a giant toad. But perhaps, <sighs> perhaps what you sense is it. But well, possible. Don't you I think, be... though, we can handle a toad? Oh, I'd say we'd be careful. Giant. We're not really equipped for combat, you know, with this ragtag equipment. Ragtag. Random. Suppose you're right. Gorstag won't kill. Gorstag think toad is kill. Who is Gorstag? Um, How strong could it uh, do Sorry, you? not... Uh, sorry, one of my other... The, the other campaign I play, uh, we have a barbarian. We used to have a barbarian named Garstag before he died. Well. And don't know why. Um, Grognak think we should kill Toad. Alright, if you want to have your fun killing, go ahead. Ariel waits cautiously for the, for the tank to go in. Alright, there we go. Grognight want you to follow. We'll be close, we'll be close. Nope. Toad! Follow Grognight. Nope, you were here. <clears throat> oh, okay, thank you. Uh, Shariel, Maldrag, basically Grognight is the only one that actually is in the first round. Uh, but as soon as it sees you pa uh, pass uh, by its hiding place, it gets out of stealth, and um, uh, there's a five foot hop. I hope your ACs are correct. Mine is. Whoa, wait, I sh almost. I'll just make sure. Yeah, if you have chain, you gotta update it. Yeah, I forgot to update it. Should I forget how to? Oh yeah, here. If you're here, I'll have you. It's, 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 I'm going it's to press my on. enter key soon. You have three ACs that you need to make sure are correct. Alright, time. Okay. You did not fill it in. Yeah, I did. It's 10. No. Your flat footed AC. My flat foot is 14. You didn't fill it in then. I'm looking at it right now. You, you need to press enter. Grognak. You also need to close I... the character sheet after you filled it in. It, it oh. takes a bit to upload it. Well, it still hit anyway. Yeah, yeah it hit. So, um, it bites you.
You wanted to do this. For 11 damage. Ooh. And, um... It grapples you. So would I be right next to it? Yeah, you would now be stuck in its mouth. Ooh. Okay, so if I cross the spell, uh, I can Grognak? I hit. Oh, oh, um... So, so like, my lower half is in its mouth? No, your upper half. Oh! Oh, that works. Uh, so, so okay. I want to take my sword, and uh, can no, I just... you won't. You have to combat the grapple. I do? But I'm inside its mouth, I just want to stab, like, thrust my hand out. To try and hit its uvula to make me throw up. I mean, if you make a massive win on the grapple, probably. You gotta do that, that part first. I got an idea if you're gonna try that though, rage. Yeah, I was going to rage, obviously. But. Yeah, you need I to say. Be... That's not Sorry. something that is free. <laughs> rage, um. How do I tell. How do I tell, uh, Hero Lab that I'm raging? In play. By ticking the rage, rage button in, ra in, in play. Okay, where's rage? Uh. It says raging or rage. Okay, there we go, raging. Okay, I have 19, so normally I had 16. Remember that your HP goes up, by the way, because of rage. Yeah, uh, so instead of 16, 19, 18. Yeah, but... Um, there we go, 8. Um, what's the plan now? Because, as I said, was stuck inside. You can, you basically can only do things that require one hand, or you can try to break free. It can is the uvula within reach? No. Damn it! The, you can see shit. I was you know, just it's dark fine. in here. Uh, can I just use? Can I stab my sword up? Yeah, why not? Sweet. I'm gonna try and aim for its brain. Or just anywhere. Maybe it's eyes. That'd be nice. You'll just need, still need to hit, though. Um, it would be a 1d20 plus... Fuck, where is I it? I just realized that's a really big frog. Yes, it is. And I don't know why he's not trying to get free. <laughs> <laughs> I want to try and get fine. I'll try. How do I get free? Or CMB, CMB or escape after whichever is higher. Um, escape artist. No, CMB is plus five. So just roll one d twenty plus five. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fuck. I need to break his CMD. It goes like. <laughs> I, I guess I'm completely in it now. No, you're free. Oh! Shariel! Nice. You see what hap what's happening there? Yes, I draw my bow and I make an attack. Take a five foot step frog. because otherwise you're going to be shooting through uh, nothing. Uh, stinks here. So, this way? Or this way? Here. See so you left, yeah. I do a five foot step diagonally? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, of course you can. Yeah, you hit. Of course, um, Kognak is providing oh, soft cover. And now something that uh, I haven't calculated before, the damage. Uh, it's 1d8 plus D8. range damage, I guess. No, no, no. Yeah, one but there's eight. no range damage. 1d8. Oh, true. Only when you go composite that you get bosses. Maldrek! I just, you know, casually walk up. You casually walk up. Wait. You do know that would provoke... No, because he's providing cover. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I knew it. Goes <laughs> way hard. Cold spray. 
It's get hits four. It get hits four times possibly. <laughs> no, don't that, no, no, no. That would be fun if it did though. That would be. Uh. You do know that. Okay, and what's the effect for three hit tie? Uh, KO4 is blinded and stunned for 1d4 rounds. Okay, it's blinded okay, and it. stunned. Yep, for... Okay, click the delete button, now it should work. For 4 rounds. Okay. But still stun is good. It is unable to act for four rounds, so now you have... It's... Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Uh, also wait, then. Wait. There's... There's one thing I still need to tell you. It also is stunned for one more round after that. Yeah. Does it in the... In the, in the Does it not have a save for that as well? It did, it it did it. and it failed. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I... Move over to Drognak's position and cast Cure Light Wounds. Okay. I assume you move here so you won't get attacked right away. It's blind. He's stunned. And stunned. Oh, yeah. It can't do anything. One plus one. Basically, yeah. Grognak and Sheriel can go full auto on it. Okay. Cognet, you heal 9 HP. Cognac. I'm going to a power attack um, and try and uh, kill it, I guess. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to no power attack show. and attack it. So it's, it's flat footed now? Is that what it is when it's. Uh, wait, wait, can, I to... can I troop to grace it? Nope, because it's not helpless. Oh. Also, it's hilarious how you're unable to speak. To say coup de gras. Oh, it's too. Wait, what? Coup de gras. 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 Coup de grass. <laughs> okay, coup de grass. I'm gonna coup. I'm gonna cup the grass. <laughs> you okay, can. Plus six. Uh, power attack is minus one. Don't forget. Oh, so fifteen. Okay. Yeah, but that's enough. Go ahead. Uh now you roll damage. Shahil. Alright. I use your oh wait, don't you have a power range? Uh, that was, that's not good right now. What yeah, accuracy? But... Don't you have yeah, power range? Yeah, accuracy doesn't matter at this point. It's stunned. Oh, yeah, well, it's you, too late. I've already miss. made the roll. Also, you miss. Uh, Maldrek. Uh, I can't really burn any hands here because I'll, I'll put the fours on fire. Yes, you can. I mean, it's a toad, so if he dies and the forest dies, who cares? Hands. Okay. Not much at the moment, but oh well. Even for cost of level. Oh my Ow. god, <laughs> Bella, we we had the same reaction to. <laughs> Still blind. Also then. Also, I'm on HP, uh, by the way. Bro. Wait, do, do I have the um, short sword? I don't know. Did you take it? I don't think he did. He said he would, but he never put I... it in the root pile. Wait, that's right. right. Did you write it down at least? I'm not sure who has it right now. Uh, there are multiple. No, there was one. Short well, there sword. was one short sword. No one picked it up, so it's still in the base. Or the prison. <laughs> Wanna go back and get it? <laughs> no. Oh, that's okay. 
I'm not going back in that chest. I'm not going back to the prison. Who said yeah. anything about consent? Hurry up, what do you do? Uh, I don't... Like... Smack it with the just... eagle, or the falcon. There. I don't. I don't think I have a weapon on me. I'm sure I wanted to punch a giant. Don't frog. you have a dagger? Okay, Grognak. Uh, you never gave me the dagger. I gave it to Maldrick. Okay, I, I'm gonna power attack me in. Yeah, you hit. I would also maybe. Suggest and you down it. Oh, nice. Good job. Yeah. Oh, we were gonna have to stabilize. Grognak for a bit there. How so? Yeah, he got, uh, uh, Maldrak would have um, color sprayed it on time anyway. Of course, then Grognak would have been hit by the color spray, so. Well, he just walks around the corner and just ends up face first into a frog. Yeah. But, uh, HP. Also, uh, <laughs> I forget you have three rounds of Rage Expanded. Yes, huh? three rounds. Oh, only okay. have seven. I had seven total, so that's four now. Yeah. You can also update it on roll 20, by the way. He also already did. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well. You do notice that. Uh, you, you note some. Um, well, tracks in the, the ground from the toad. Let's follow it. The dead bodies might have loot on them. Well, Cheryl can track. I thought this was an untrackable uh, terrain. Mostly, but... Okay. Uh, like, um, it's untrackable after a few hours. Alright, oh, so then wow. I'll, I'll do my uh, best to follow the tracks as fast as I can. Tracking oh, oh I did check. not notice that. Yeah, I should have survival added... Survival Oh wow. Um, one moment. Wow, I did not notice that. I, uh, while I was raging, it was a plus ten, not a plus seven. Oh well. Have it in my notes. Ranger adds after level to survival skill checks. It's okay, not so a minimum one of one. To survival. So no, half your level is one uh, is zero and a half, which is zero. So it's minimum minimum one. Oh, then it's one. If it says minimum one, it's minimum one. So, hold a check, please. Survival. Ah. After following for a while, you... Um, you find a, a small cave. That you can uh, uh, access through a small stagnant pool. And... Um, well... Better to there explore some... a small cave than a small halfling. <laughs> there is some treasure here. Oh. Nice. Alright, I uh, Good take, a, take a look through it and also make sure everybody else has access to it as well. But, you know, get on everybody's good side because we're kind of all in this together. Uh, I'm going to clear the, the loot pile. Because everything oh, yeah, who picked up the gold anyway? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to re-add that because I'm assuming that you you managed to pick up a few coins. Yeah, we also have a, little, a bit of gold in the in the pouch. Uh, 100 in the I'll I'll, I'll add the 100 oh, from okay. uh, the 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 veil as well. Well, I could say that I have that in my possession. So right? that's in total that you find. Because I'm assuming that's quite the short 170. Story. You find uh, this money next to the, the uh, well, the corpse of something that looks humanoid. Is there anything else useful? No? Just that? Just that. Also, oh. uh, that is, I'm assuming that you just divide it because I don't want to have to. You get 68 gold each. Well, we could say that one person gets a gold extra. I don't care. Uh, one gold is not going to make a difference. So 68 gold each. Please write that down. 
Soren, do you want the short sword? Yeah, I do. Angel. They're, All right, they... go ahead and claim it. Angel. The first loot pile, ignore it. The second one, keep it. Pay attention. Oh, the first yeah, one just... the first loot behind. pile is what you left behind. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright, never never mind, Soren. But yeah, you find that here, and... Um, well, it was kind of a sidetrack, so... You have now spent two hours looking around the forest. Well, it's night now. Maybe we should, you know, use this cave as a little... Uh... A spot for uh, resting. Well, you know that uh, that the manor shouldn't be that far if only you find a way. You yeah, know well, approximately where it would be. Okay. And come That's come true. daylight, people are bound to come looking for you. Yeah, it's right. We need to we need to hurry. Um, never mind what I said then. Could there be anything hidden in the cave? Uh, roll a perception. Blind. Everyone do it? Sure, I want to take a look at it. I was curious about it before. Okay. Perception? Everyone, a blind skill check, please. Blind perception. Oh, wow. Well, it <laughs> looks like the... Like the, 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 the lair of a frog. It's, I mean... A frog doesn't have the, the the ability to 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 make secret hidey holes. It's like a cave with that body are of there an any old eggs? in it. Are there any? Are there any what? Eggs? No. All right. But Shariel to um, find the manor actually. Uh, that will be. Uh, survival checks. Okay, I'll make another. No skill. Not gonna be tracking this time. No, just survival. Oh. And uh, you spend another hour wandering about without finding the house. Try again. Again. That's four hours. Five hours. Six hours. Seven hours. Oh you this survival thing, are you? Eight hours. What is it with these You are a <laughs> shitty ranger. Holy hell. Okay, Max Nine hours. <laughs> Right, a little question. Don't you have survival? No. Why not? Aren't you barbarians? Oh, oh, survival. Yeah, yeah, I have survival here. I'll roll. There's something wrong with this this dice. And can the next hour Mag do a roll, please, just to see if he's better? <laughs> okay, three I'm tries. assuming that, uh, that Grognag tried simultaneously with the first three. So th those three by Grognak are simultaneous with uh, uh, Shariel's first three, so that's uh, f uh, four, five, six. After six hours, you find, finally, and daybreak is falling almost, uh, you finally find the mansion. Ah, oh, there it is. Now, let's see what the secret helper wants from us. Uh, after each act, I get to uh, do like a, an epilogue reading because this adventure plot has been written that way, so let me go ahead. After escaping the prison, surviving the monstrous lash tongue and crossing the moors with guard patrols at your heels, finding the hose the house on the old moor road pales beside your other accomplishments. I wouldn't say so because you spent a lot of effort finding the house. <laughs> As promised, 
A lonely lantern burns in the upper story. The place otherwise shows little sign of habitation. Old but well appointed, the house is large, imposing and, along, and alone on its hill. Painted a dark green and surrounded by barbed wrought iron fencing, nothing about this place seems inviting or a sanctuary. Still, it is your destination. Where will you go if, if not here? Now, now, you have an appointment to keep. Best not to keep your nameless benefactor waiting. And you are now level 2. Hooray. Awesome. Now, I shall do the introduction of what happens when you enter the manor and then we shall call the session. Because it's almost midnight. All right, and I will go to... Well. I will go to your homepage. This is the homepage. But we will go if there's no particular map that's suitable. So you're standing there, in front of the mansion. What do you do? Start going inside, I guess, carefully. The door is locked. I follow Majrix, uh, Maldrix lead messenger. Uh, what do you do when you come to a house? Oh, knock. Think, oh, yeah, see. think like like a normal person for a second. <laughs> yes. And um, a woman opens the door, and well. Maldrek, you recognize her. But oh. the others do not. We meet again, Theodore. Shh. Give me a second. Uh. So yeah, um, the, a woman opens the door and, uh, well, she sees you, uh, Maldrek, and uh, she, she, she know, yeah, the, this picture that I show you, I'm showing you now is not actually correct because she no longer looks like she is destined for a funeral. Instead, she wears a di uh, diaphanous white gown that makes her look almost angelic. However, when she starts speaking, any illusions about her angelic character are quickly dispelled. Dearest, took you long enough, she says pitilessly. We were beginning to wonder if you'd ever make it. Oh, and you brought friends, I see. Well, the master commands all of you to appear before him. But before that, you must be made presentable. Slaves! And a, do uh, a dozen young, attractive men and women all wearing very traditional servants' livery, appear quickly. Their heads bowed. These people are our guests, she commands imperiously. See them to their rooms, please. I want them cleaned, dressed, and refreshed. Quickly. There is something in that last word that sounds like a threat. Certainly, the slaves take it that way, hustling to perform their duties. Uh, you can make a sense motive check again. Everyone? Yeah. Uh, Osorin and Grognak. They too seem to be mentally under the control of this lady in front of you. But you are all led up to your rooms and uh, well, the, com the accommodations are certainly more comfortable than the jail cell and um, well the slaves they are quite silent and efficient there are fresh clothes perfectly sized, sized to each of you in your rooms and there is opportunity to wash up um, thank you for your hospitality uh, the slaves remain quiet 
And um, after uh, after um, you have had your ba uh, bath, they also present you with a platter full of hot, delicious food and fresh water. You did it. What kind of food? Delicious food. <laughs> I'm hungry right now, so I'm thinking about food. Whatever you would find delicious, they somehow know what your characters like. Oh, okay. Okay, so they find cinders. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so all of cinders on my plate. That's the way I like it. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, you did it. You escaped. And, uh... It was looking pretty iffy at, at times, but we did it. And well, as you're sitting there enjoying your meal... It is not long before a, a slave is sent up to all of your rooms to call you down. But what happens then? Well, we'll leave that for next session. <laughs>